uh, completions on 66 attempts, two touchdowns already, a little quarterback, 5'9", about 140 pounds, but he's very athletic, and he has a spark for the Lancer offense. Now on the other side, the Bonita Vista Barons are coming off a, a, a win after losing two in a row against Lincoln and Grossmont. They come off a win from last year, from, from last, last week, and they're led by Austin Kane, a senior six-foot uh, quarterback who has a 60% completion rate so far this season. Oh, absolutely. Austin Kane, 52 completions out of 86 attempts, 845 yards with six touchdowns. And he's out there. He's the gunslinger for that Bonita Vista offense. And one thing to note, Bonita Vista office is a pretty major injury, and they're starting running back Josh Santos. And one of the things on Bonita Vista's side as well is the fact that they have a lot of playmakers on that, uh, on, on that squad. You have guys like Atal Kalik, you have Caleb Sue, Francisco Valdez, who the last time he covered this team, towards the end of the, that fourth quarter of play, he started getting a lot of the carries, and he was gaining, gaining about eight, nine, ten yards every single time he touched the ball. Oh, absolutely. Talking to Coach Raby before the game, and that's one thing that, you know, he's he's very fortunate that he has with Santos out with the ankle injury tonight. He has his corral of running backs that he can count on. So you're going to be seeing Caleb Sue tonight. You're going to be seeing Ricky Alvarez out there, the big fullback, getting some good blocking and getting his touches as well. But then you're going to see that, that big core of running backs, that deep core of running backs, running backs, I should say, for the Barons coming in. And, hey, I know that Hilltop's ready for the challenge tonight. It's a beautiful night out here in Olympian High School and Chula Vista out in the east, eastern part. It's going to be a great night of football. Bonita Vista hosting Hilltop at Olympian High School as their home field in Southwestern College is getting a little bit of a renovation. But a cool 75 degrees here in Southern California, 75 degrees, Bob. You can't ask for better weather than that for football. Oh, not at all. Friday night lights out here, a little, little crisp, you know, not too bad. You know, we expected to get a little bit chillier as the night goes on. But I'm telling you, those guys out in the field, they're not going to worry about it tonight. They just want to get this game going. This is perfect weather for football here from Olympian High School. That's going to do it for tonight's Play on Sports pregame show. We'll be back with kickoff in just a few minutes. Friday night football begins next on your destination for high school sports. Sports, playonsports.com.
Welcome back to Friday Night Football on PlayOnSports.com. Coming to you live from John DeVore Stadium in Chula Vista, California. This is Valentina Escanuela alongside Bob Osuna on your destination for high school sports, PlayOnSports.com. Tonight's matchup features the 0-4 Hilltop Lancers visiting the 2-2 Bonita Vista Barons. And Bob, before we start this game here tonight, what has been keys to tonight's game for Hilltop? Well, for Hilltop, they just had, need to really establish an identity on offense and uh, against this Bonita Vista team, actually try to keep Bonita Vista's offense off the field. Control the clock, limit your mistakes. They're a young football team, so you, gotta, you can't create turnovers and give the ball to the other team, especially on a short field. Seven offense and fumbles for the Hilltop Lancers so far throughout two, for, throughout uh, four games. And against the Bonita Vista squad, you cannot afford those mistakes. Oh, absolutely not. Bonita Vista will take advantage of those, those errors uh, when given the opportunity. Uh, Bonita Vista will be going from left to right as the home team. And they'll take it as Caleb Sue will take it from about the three-yard line. It's up to the 15-20. Makes a move and gets taken down at about the 25-yard line. And they'll have it first and 10 from their own 26. On the tackle for the uh, Hilltop Lancers right there was Jared Akers. Comes into tonight leading the team with 40 tackles. Last week he had 18 tackles alone. So you can tell that well, Jared Akers goes from sideline to sideline and he's all over the place and especially on special teams down there to make that tackle. Jared Akers, a linebacker, junior linebacker, 5'10", 190 pounds. The kid's got speed and he knows how to wrap people up and bring them down. Bonita Vista will start off first and 10 from their own 26. Three receivers to the near side for Austin Kane as he takes a snap, looks to the near side. That ball will be batted down at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there by Adrian Rios. Yeah, Rios kind of jumped up right there, got a hand on it. Good fundamental play. As soon as he sees that quarterback cock his arm, go up there, get your hands up. Batted the ball down, second down for Bonita Vista. So Bonita Vista will try to get off to a quick start here tonight without Josh Santos. So Kane will go ahead and split out two receivers to the near side, I formation. As you go ahead and give the hand up up the middle. And a gain of about four yards for Devin Milder, Miller. Yeah, Delvin Miller right there, just kind of going up right between the guards. And the center picked up about four on that play. Good tackle on the play by the Lancers. And that was Christian Sandoval, defensive back, coming up to make the stop. Delvin Miller will be dotting the eye here for Bonita Vista. As there's motion at the line, and there's the flag. This may be encroachment against Hilltop. Yeah, Adrian Rios right there going on, uh, on the hard count, not on movement. And that will be encroachment on Hilltop, and that'll bring him up five yards. So it shortens up that third down situation. It was going to be a third and six. Instead, they're going to have about a third and one. Great night for football here from Chula Vista, California, as Bonita Vista hosting Hilltop at Olympian High School. I formation here for the Barons, as he'll go ahead and keep it himself on a quarterback keeper. And he gets a first down yardage. Uh, they're gonna mark him, depending on the spot. Looks like he got the first down. Yeah, that was a good surge by the uh, Baron offensive line right there, just getting low and driving off the ball. Like it when I see those linemen down there, you know, three yards downfield, four yards downfield on a sneak play. That means they're pushing that defensive line backwards. So first and 10, ball spotted at the 37 yard line for the Barons. Man in motion to the right, to the left side. That's Sue, as Kane will give it off up the middle to Delvin Miller. He gets hit at the line of scrimmage and gets taken back. They're gonna give him forward progress, but there's still a loss of about one yard. Second down and 10 remains here for the Barons. As Sue checks out. And checking in for the Benita Vista Barons is Matt Macario. They're gonna split him out to the far side of the field. 
Eye formation for the Barons. Dalvin Miller once again dotting the eye. Two receivers to the far side. Fake handoff. Play action fake to the near side. Wide open receiver at the 50. He's up to the 40 and out at about the 36-yard line. A throw there to Gabe Bell, the tight end for the Bonita Vista Barons, and he gets a big gain. Yeah, Gabe Bell just dragging himself across the field right there. Nobody out in the flat right in front of the Bonita Vista bench. And he just turned that upfield and said, oh, my gosh, I've got green right in front of me. Big pickup across midfield down to the Lancer 37-yard line. So first down and more here for the Barons. Barons now inside Hilltop territory at the Hilltop 37-yard line. I formation. Sue dotting the eye. We'll go ahead and get the handoff. He breaks it to the near side. He's up to the 30. And out of bounds, knocked out of bounds, tackled at about the 30-yard line. Oh, that was a good sense of vision right there by Caleb Sue. You know, trying to go behind his fullback, Ricky Alvarez, right there. There was really nothing opened up in the middle. It was well played by the Lancer defense. Sue just pops that to the outside, close to a first down. Nice run. A gain of about eight yards on that one. It'll be a second down and two here for the Barons. The Barons moving the ball downfield here on their first offensive, offensive possession very nicely. Two receivers to the far side for Kane as he draws the line, but no flag, and another first down conversion here for the Barons. Yeah, fullback Ricky Alvarez right there on that little dive play. Ricky always running hard right there, good enough to pick up the first down. Our Ricky Alvarez goes 5'10", 220 pounds, so he's a load when he's coming with the full head of steam. Yeah, he runs low, he keeps his pad level down, just like a fullback should. Great blocker, great runner. Same formation here for the Barons. Kane under center. They go ahead and fake the handoff, play auction fake, has his tight end once again in the middle of the field, wide open as he gets the reception and takes it down to about the 11 yard line. That was a nice little play action fake right there to Alvarez. Linebackers bid on that fake right there coming up. Then you just come up with a little pop pass to your tight end, Gabe Bell. First down, Benita Vista moving the ball. 8-18 left here in the first quarter of play. Still no score. First offensive, offensive possession for Bonita Vista, and they have marched down the field to the Hilltop 11-yard line. Two men in the backfield now for Kane. Kane will fake the handoff, gives it off to Delvin Miller. Nice. He gets one stiff arm and gets it to the end zone. Touchdown, Barons, as Delvin Miller gives him the hand to the face, and he gets it to the end zone for six. Well, that was your old-fashioned cross-buck play right there. Fake to one back, you jab, step, go the other way. And Miller going on the outside, but right there with the key block on that play was uh, right tackle Alex Allendorf. Just a great pancake block right there, opening up the outside. Great job by Dalvin Miller. He gives him the Heisman and gets into the end zone for six there as Bonita Vista takes the early lead here, six to nothing as we await the extra point. The kick is up and it is going to be good. Seven to nothing, Bonita Vista on top here on your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. Do you wanna watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here tonight? Tell your school to sign up for the Play On Sports School Broadcast Program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. Bonita Vista gets on the board first, seven to nothing. Early lead here in the first quarter of play. Plenty of football left, 7.56 left here in the first quarter of play. Valentin Escanuela alongside Bob Osuna, live from Olympian High School as Bonita Vista hosting Hilltop here on an away neutral field because Southwestern College is undergoing some renovations. Kick is off and it is gonna be taken from about the 10 yard line up to the 15, 20. Make it 25, spins around, gets taken down at about the 28 yard line. And we'll see where they put him down, but first and 10 here for Hilltop. As that's a very, very good return there for the Lancers. Yeah, Sergio, Sergio Vidro, excuse me. Returning that ball out there towards the 30-yard line. 
Now let's see what this young uh, Lancer offense can do. Uh, Valentin led behind their sophomore quarterback, Daniel Sanchez. Well, they struggled early in the season trying to put points on the board. They were shut out the first two games against Olympian 28-0 and against Patrick Henry the next week 17-0. Uh, so let's see what they got. They go ahead and get the hand up on the right side. Plenty of room, making a nice move to the outside, up to the 45, taking out a, a bounce at about the 47-yard line on the carry, Montel Campbell. Yeah, Montel Campbell getting the first carry for the Hilltop Lancers right there, taking around the right end. And good job by the receiver on there holding his block. Campbell so far for the year before that carry, 45 carries, 182 yards and two touchdowns. They're running out of that split back position. You'll see a little bit of that. You'll see a little bit of eye, a little bit of wing, a little multiple set for the Lancers tonight. While well, they're going with the split back formation now and Campbell will get it. He dodges one tackle and then gets taken down immediately for a loss of one yard. Yeah, right there, Moises Villapondo coming up from his middle linebacker position. He just read the guard on that play, Valentin, and just shot through the gap. You know, didn't quite get, uh, probably credit him for the assist on that tackle right there, but did a good job of slowing up the running back and knocking him off balance, and his teammate came in and cleaned it up for him. But good job right there shooting the gap. Hilltop Lancers led by their sophomore quarterback, Daniel Sanchez, as he gets under center, split back formation here for the Lancers. They're going to go ahead and play action fake, looking to throw. Hits Campbell on the right side. Campbell dodges one tackler and then gets past midfield and then loses the ball out of bounds. They're going to give him a gain of about six yards on that carry. Well, that's a nice little confidence play right there for Sanchez. You know, going up against Benita Vista defense right there. You have your first uh, pass attempt. Completes it now for a third and a manageable four yards. So third down and four, and this is something that has plagued the Hilltop Lancer so far. Four games in the books, seven offensive turnovers on fumbles. Hilltop with a third and four, ball spotted inside Barron territory at the 46 yard line, and now we have a timeout called by the Lancers. And there right there shows your uh, your youth on the uh, on the Lancer side of the ball right there. They were, looked like they wanted to kind of line up into a double wing, then possibly go into a slot. Nobody really knew what the formation was right there, so Coach Roloff wisely calls a timeout, brings over his young offense right there, and he said, hey guys, settle down. Let's get the formation right, and let's convert right here on third down. They'll have a third down and four to go here for Hilltop with 6.29 left still in the first quarter of play. Bonita Vista leads this one 7 to nothing early on here. But the Hilltop Lancers, they're not looking too shabby there on the field. A couple of uh, first offensive plays. One went, one went, one went, one, the first one went for a big yardage, but you know they're starting to get into that little offensive groove. Oh, well, absolutely, and that's that's what you want to do. It, it, you know, it's it's a cliche, but it's so true in this case. It's one play at a time. You want to play fundamentally sound. Don't turn the ball over because when you do all of that, it creates confidence, and the more confidence that you get, you start moving the ball. Well, Hilltop will be faced with a third down and four to go here as their sophomore quarterback, Daniel Sanchez, under center. Puts a man in motion as he drops the ball, still picks it up, trying to run across for the, to the far side of the field. Nothing there, and then gets taken out of bounds. Short of the first down, it'll bring a fourth down situation here for the Lancers. And right there you see that miscue on the, uh, on the snap and a little fumble right there, but uh, credit Sanchez right there trying to make something out of nothing. But that D... Uh, Bonita defense just swarmed on him right around midfield. So now it brings up a punting situation for the Hilltop Lancers. So Lancers will punt this ball away as they put a man in motion to the near side. A low snap, and the kick is off. As that'll be taken by Sue, he'll let it bounce, and then he won't touch it, he'll let it go. Takes a favorable Hilltop bounce, and it'll be downed Inside the 10 yard line, that kick there was by Angel Galvan, who's a senior, six feet, 215 pounds. It's a big boy for a kicker. Well, Bonita Vista, last drive right there, basically marched down probably a good uh, 75, 80 yards down the field. And one thing I liked about Bonita's last drive, you know, we covered them two weeks ago, Valentin, when they uh, unfortunately lost to a, a Grossmont High 
foothillers. And one thing that they were, weren't doing in that game was finishing drives mm -hmm. at the very beginning of the first half. It they was nice to see them on their first drive finish that drive strong. Yeah, they played very well from the tw from, from from in between the 20s. As soon as they got into the red zone, they had trouble as they give the handoff right up the middle. Hilltop Lancers come in and make a tackle, but a gain of three yards there on that carry. Yeah, Ricky Alvarez right there getting his number called and carrying bodies. Good strong run for about four yards. Bonita Vista will have a second down and six upcoming here. As that ball now at the 14 yard line, their own 14 yard line. Austin Kane, a 60% completion rate. We'll go ahead and split out three receivers to the near side. He'll be working out of the shotgun. Takes a snap, has to dodge traffic. Needs to get around, he'll go ahead and nearly get sacked. And he'll give it off again to his tight end as he is waiting there, but in a loss of two yards on that one. That was a dangerous play there by Austin Kane as he went into his end, on, end zone, not realizing that he was being chased by three defenders. Yeah, he had trips going out to the right side, Valentin, and was looking downfield, and good job by the Hilltop secondary uh, by not allowing an open receiver, but then he was just trying to make something happen. You know, and good job that, that uh, Gabe Bell was there to be a safety valve just to kind of check down to him. Mm -hmm and uh, cr uh, avoid a turnover on that play. So Benita Vista dodges one there as they're gonna have an eye formation out of this set. One receiver to either side here for Kane. Third down and seven to go. They're gonna give the handoff on the draw play and he'll go ahead and get gobbled up right at the line of scrimmage. Gets a gain of about maybe one yard but Austin Kane got nailed as soon as he gave the handoff off. Well, that was just a good job by Hilltop right there, just reading that play really well. And stopping the running back for practically no gain. Adrian Rios right there on that tackle. So a fourth down situation here for the Barons. As we need one more player on the field, he jogs in, he actually, he runs in. And now Bonita Vista with 3.51 left here in the first quarter of play to punt this ball away, and that kick is up. It's going to be a short kick, high kick. It'll take a bounce at about the 40-yard line, and they're going to down it at a 41 inside Barron territory. Okay, so let's see if Hilltop can take advantage of uh, getting the ball on their second possession and playing on a short field, taking possession on the Bonita Vista 40-yard line. Again, last uh, possession right there, Valentin. They... Had a little mishap right there. Had some good good signs right there moving the ball. But again, you just can't have turnovers and get you to uh, in punting situations. Well, they had a, get, they had a 75 yard field uh, to cover last time in order, in order to put it into the end zone. This time they only have 40 yards. They give the handoff up the middle and that's gonna be a gain of two yards. Now with only 40 yards to go to the end zone. Let's see if Hilltop can capitalize here on this great field position. David Vasquez right there on the uh, carry for the Lancers. Second down and eight. The Lancers, Daniel Sanchez, only a sophomore. Hilltop is going to be pretty competitive when it comes uh, next season. Second down and about eight to go. Sanchez throwing to the far side and he hits his receiver. First down and more there as they'll move that ball up to the 25 yard line. I gotta tell you, Hilltop, we talked to the coach earlier on today, he said we're just trying to find ourselves right now offensively. They're looking pretty good on that field right now. Well right there, that was a nice little pitch and catch right there from Sanchez to Vidro, the wide receiver. And you know, moving the chains and that's what you want right there. It, it builds confidence and you get your offense going. It looks like uh, Hilltop's on a little click right now. Split back formation here for the Lancers. As they'll go ahead and give the hand up on a draw play, but nowhere to go for Montel Campbell. Well, that was a nice little delay draw right there, but not fooled on that play. Was middle linebacker for the Benita Vista Barons, Moises Villapondo. So second down and 12 to go now for the Lancers as they lost two yards on that play. 
same formation. Actually, they're going to put two receivers to the far side here for Sanchez. As he'll look to throw, throws out into the flat. That pass is incomplete. That pass looked a little rushed there by Sanchez. As we got 159 left here in the first quarter of play. Valentina Espanuela alongside Bob Osuna, live from Olympian High School. Bonita Vista leads this one 7 to nothing here as we are in the first quarter of play. And the Lancers now with a long third down, third down and long here for Hilltop. Two receivers to either side for Sanchez, man in motion. They're going to pitch it to the near side. He's got some space. He's up to the 15, 20. Make it to 15, inside the 10, and up to the 9-yard line. A first down and more on that play. They needed 12. They got 15. Yeah, that was just like a, a fly toss sweep, if you will, right there. Running around the left side was Jake Matarang. Got that ball and got a good, uh, got to the corner and right behind his offensive line, turned that corner. First down, Hilltop Lancers on the move. So first and goal just inside the 10 yard line are the Lancers. Trying to get this ball in the end zone and tie this up. Eye formation here. Dotting the eye is Campbell. They're going to fake it to Campbell, right up the middle to their tight end. Inside the five yard line, they're going to say touchdown. Um, we'll wait for the call. Touchdown, Lancers. There was a little bit of a delay there, but the Lancers put it in the end zone. Yeah, that was a Hilltop Lancers right there with their play action pass and tight end pop pass right there. And this one good enough for six points. Talk you about a, a confidence booster right there, Valentine. That was an excellent drive by Hilltop, taking ball on the Benita Vista 40 and marching down 40 yards for a touchdown. Well, Hilltop has had four tough losses, and it looks so far like they learned from every one of them because that drive looked flawless. The extra point kick is up, and it is going to be good. As we have a tie game here from Olympian High School, 7-7. We're all knotted up here on your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. Play on Sports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to great highlights. Follow us at Play on Sports on both Facebook and Twitter. You can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube at youtube.com slash play on network. Keep up with all the high school action every week from your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. One thirty-four left still in the first quarter of play, and we have a tight ball game, 7-7 seven seven here from Olympian High School. As back to receive for Bonita Vista will be Ryan Hicks and Caleb Sue. Low line drive kick. Sue will take it from about the one-yard line. He's up to the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, on his horse, and out of bounds at about the 36-yard line. Caleb Sue was starting to get some speed there and was pushed out of bounds there by Hilltop. Yeah, Sue took that ball right about the goal line there, Valentin, or a little bit in front of it, and uh, just saw a little opening right there along the left side, and right around the sideline on the uh, Hilltop side away from us. Showed his speed, get that ball up there for a nice return to the 35-yard line. So first down and 10, they're going to spot the ball at the 35-yard line as Bonita Vista will have it first and 10 from their own 35. Eye formation here for Austin Kane. Man in motion to the near side. And he'll go ahead and give the handoff to Dalvin Miller. And he goes up and gets a gain of about three yards. Miller right there running strong. Good job by the uh, Lancer defensive line right there, just holding the ground, not giving very many running lanes for Miller. Gonna pick up about three yards on the play. Second down and seven here for Bonita Vista. 
Two receivers to the near side for Kane. Dalvin Miller dotting the eye. Barking the signals, he'll go ahead and give the handoff to Miller. Miller over the left side, he breaks one tackler, two tacklers, still on his feet. Ball is loose on the ground, and Hilltop looks like they recovered. Hilltop ball. Well, that was a good, strong run by Delvin Miller, breaking the first and second level. And as soon as he started to pick up some speed, looks like he was going to break that one. A good job of stripping the ball by the Hilltop defense. Couldn't get a number on that. But nonetheless, great strip right there and Hilltop turnover. <laughs> First and 10 for Hilltop. So the offense takes over and they put it in the end zone. That transfers a little bit of momentum onto that defensive side. They knock that ball loose and they get the ball back here as Hilltop now looking to throw downfield, going for a deep play, has a receiver and overthrows him, incomplete. I like the play call after a turnover. Yeah, after, the, after a turnover, you know, sometimes you want to take a shot, and that's what exactly what Hilltop did right there, chose to do. Ball just a little bit overthrown. Sanchez going for Vidro down the right sideline. I like the call. Second down and 10. Ball at their at the Hilltop 41-yard line. Split back formation here for the Lancers as Sanchez pitches the ball to the near side. Same play as last time. Up to the 45, follows his block. Cuts it back up the middle and gets another five yards on that one up to midfield. About a yard short of the first down. That'll bring a third down and short. Yeah, Drake Manarang right there on the toss sweep going to the left. Just staying on the hip pocket of his fullback right there, Dustin Downs. Downs getting outside, throwing a good block, allowing Matarang to cut back inside, close to a first down, pickup of nine. Well, it almost seemed that they were gonna take him down at the 45 yard line, and he, he used his guy to get him in front of him, say, hey, go, to, go a little bit more to the right. <laughs> Got an extra five yards on that, on that play, and makes it a third down and short, as that will be the end of the first quarter. 7-7, all tied up here from Olympian High School, on your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. One quarter is in the books and we have a tight ball game, 7-7, seven, seven, Bonita Vista and Hilltop as we had the first, first quarter of play here at Bob so far and I mean, we couldn't ask for better football. It, it, you know, back and forth, both teams got into, uh, Bonita Vista got, had a very good drive that first, first possession, a big turnover and now Hilltop trying to capitalize. Yeah, right now for the uh, last uh, game of non-league play, these two teams, first quarter right now, are pretty even, evenly matched right now. Very competitive first quarter. Here's the first play of the second quarter. Hilltop over the ball. A big third down situation here for the Lancers. Third and one, two, re two, two uh, receivers to either side. Sanchez. And then moving forward is Sanchez as he just followed his line up for another three yards, and he gets the first down there on a quarterback keeper. Yeah, Daniel Sanchez right there just uh, taking baby steps. Just, you know, following his big lineman right there and just uh, taking it across for first down. Keeping the drive alive. To keep the drive alive on that play, first down and 10. Ball now inside Barron territory at the 47-yard line. Two receivers to either side, man in motion. They're going to pitch it to the near side, up to the 50, 45. And inside the 40-yard line goes... Campbell, as he gets a gain of about eight yards on that one. And credit the uh, Lancer offensive line right now for sealing off the, the edge right there, allowing the running backs to get to the corner. Right now they've had a good, you know, good success with that toss sweep behind the fullback on that play, Dustin Downs. You know, last one was a pickup of nine yards. This one, pickup of eight yards. 
A nice pick up there by the Lancers as they keep moving this ball very methodically downfield. Split back formation here for the Lancers. They're going to give it to their back as he goes up and gets close to the first down. It's going to depend on the spot there, but on that carry was David Villasenor. You know, from our vantage point right here, Valentin, that hole looked huge just for a split second. And then right there coming up on that play, closing that fast was Luke Parra, linebacker for the Bonita Vista Barons. Great job right there, sealing that hole, holding him to a one-yard game, third down and short. Excuse me, that wasn't Victor Senor. I'm looking at the wrong roster. That was Anthony Ardanga. So third down and short, just short of the third down as they're going to go ahead and keep it again on a quarterback sneak, and they're going to get another two yards and another first down there for the Lancers. Well, credit that Lancer offensive line right now. It seems that they're winning the battle of the line of scrimmage. Beat Benita Vista off the ball right there for a good surge, good enough for a first down. So another first down, and they move the ball up to the 36-yard line of the Barons. Second quarter action here. On PlayOnSports.com, your destination for high school sports. Live from Chula Vista, California, on the campus of Olympian High School as the Barons, the Bonita Vista Barons hosting the Hilltop Lancers. Two receivers to either side here for Sanchez. Man in motion. They're going to go ahead and toss it to the near side. They're going to go and end around back the other way. And up to the 30. 25-20, there's a flag on the field. He's going to go into the end zone. He got in. But we do have a flag. This might be coming back. Well, I like that call right there because toss sweep to the right was working very well for the Lancers. You come back with the reverse to the other side. It was set up well. It was the right time to call the play. But it looks like this thing's coming back. Sergio Vidrio. Vidrio. Got around the corner and got it all the way up to about the one-yard line but it's going to be against the Lancers on that penalty. It's going to bring them back. So we will do it all over again. Well, that was a missed opportune time to have a holding call right there because you really had the Bonita Vista defense playing on their heels right there because they haven't been defending the, the outside, you know, so far tonight uh, as well as they have in the past. And you come back with that reverse right there, totally caught him off guard. But nonetheless, they still have a first down. First down and 10 as that ball gets taken back to the original line of scrimmage. Man in motion to the near side. Three receivers now for Sanchez. He'll keep it on, on the keeper and he'll get a loss of about two yards on that one. Sanchez was trying to follow his blocks, but was apprehended there by the Barons. Yeah, Angel Landavazo right there on the tackle for the Barons. Also, Ricky Alvarez. You know, one thing I noticed about the Lancer offense, too, is that they like to roll right. They roll right with their running game. They roll right with their passing game. Don't be surprised if you see some type of a counter going back to the left side or even possibly a throwback to the left side because that reverse was set up really well. So you, if you're Benita Vista right now, you want to make sure that you stay at home on the back side. And a tough break there for Hilltop as a holding call on that play. But Vidrio, he was on his horse. He was going down the sideline, and he... Might have got into the end zone. The, the official marked him out at the one-yard line, but he dove forward and he hit the pylon. As we have an injury on the field. Looks like it might be an ankle. I hope it's nothing serious right now. And again, as we said in our pregame show, Benita Vista without their tailback. Josh Santos tonight we're out with an ankle. And one thing I like about uh, Coach Raby said, you know, I was talking to him before the game about uh, Santos, and uh, he goes, well, you know what? He goes, if he was my son, I wouldn't want him to play either. You know, and I like that coming from a head coach where, you know, it's, it's safety first, 
out here, and it's unfortunate that injuries do happen, uh, you know, in 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 in, uh, in high school football. But you know, the coaches are uh, they, they emphasize a safety first, and that was a perfect example of showing that was sitting down with your uh, sitting down your running back. Although talking with Josh Santos for the game, he goes, "I'm sure he wanted yeah, to play." He goes, I'll be back next week. <laughs> <laughs> well, we talk about Hilltop being 0 and 4, Bob, and. You know, you got a team that's 0-4. They're starting to get, you know, kind of get back on the tracks here. Offensively, they're looking very, very good right now. This, These are non-league games. So technically, you know, even though you want to go undefeated all year and you want to have a great season like that, I mean, you start your league play next year, I mean, next next week. If you win out your league, you're going to playoffs. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, and, and in the uh, Metro South Bay uh, League, there's a, it's only four teams. You have Southwest High School, San Ysidro, Mar Vista, who coming off a, a good year last year, you know, uh, surprised everybody and had a had a great season. And then Hilltop, you know, so out of those teams right now, you've got South uh, at, at, during non-league play coming into tonight. Southwest and San Ysidro were both tied at two and two. Mar Vista came in with one and three. And Hilltop, surprisingly, the way that they're playing tonight, come in tonight winless, but right now they're they actually making a good showing tonight and playing some competitive football. They definitely don't look like an 0-4 like an team. Man in motion to the near side. That's going to be Campbell. Sanchez rolling over to the near side. Give it out to Delay. And back the other way he goes to the 30. 25, trying to get around the corner. He's going to get to the 20. Here comes another flag on the field as they get the first down and more. What a great play on the delay there. Dustin Downs gets it on the delay and takes it the other way, but that might be coming back again. Well, Benita was on a linebacker blitz right there, and <laughs> that's a great delay call right there against a linebacker blitz. But downfield, you probably have another hold against the Lancers, and indeed, that's the call. Block in the back. Block in the back is a call against the Lancers that'll bring them back. And we will do second down all over again. So two great play calls there by Hilltop. Come back on offensive penalties. So two downs. What well, could have netted on both plays, they netted about, I'd say about 50 yards. Instead, they go minus. 25. Well, again, you know, they're always rolling to the right right there, and although probably not designed, down saw that left side open right up, and that's due to some over-pursuit by the Benita Vista defense. Second down and eight now here for the Hilltop Lancers. They put a man in motion in Campbell, and he's going to be pressured. Sanchez gets taken down for a sack. Taken down back at the 41-yard line, make it the 42-yard line. And this will bring a long third down play here for the Lancers. Yeah, defensive end for the Barons, Michael Erickson on that tackle right there, not letting Sanchez get out of his grasp for a huge loss. Brings up third down and about 15 for Hilltop. Well, we know they have a play that goes for 15 yards, right? <laughs> They've had four or five big plays already here in this game, two coming back from, on penalties, yeah, two receivers to either side, man in motion to the near side, and Sanchez... Getting pressured. We'll go ahead and read the pressure. Gives out to Campbell. Campbell dodges one tackler. He's on his horse to the 30, 25. Still on his feet. He's going to go to the 10, 5. Touchdown, Lancers. Montel Campbell right there on the, uh, on the screen play. And now it's a nice call right there on third and 15. Again, not so much a roll to the right, but he did a, a nice drop back. Hit down to the left flat right there. And you can see on that drive by Hilltop, they really exposed the Bonita Vista defense by attacking the left. Rolling right and attacking the left. And right there, they did the same thing right there. Not so much a roll to the right, but executed to the left side of the defense. Montel Campbell showing his speed and showing his moves down the field as that kick is up, and it is going to be good. 14-7. The Hilltop Lancers lead this one here from Olympian High School on your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. Playonsports.com is not only your destination for Friday night football action, but it's also the place for the most comprehensive coverage of high school playoff and championship events in all sports from across the country. 
PlayOnSports.com. High school sports lives here. Montel Campbell. He is number four for the Hilltop Lancers. Here tonight, he is number one. He is the go-to guy for the Hilltop Lancers as he's had some huge plays here tonight. That one going for about 33 yards, make it 37 yards. As that kick is away and Bonita Vista will take it, the ball goes into the end zone for a touchback. Well, the thing I like about Hilltop on that last drive, Valentin, was that they were resilient. They had two, you know, practically touchdowns, big plays called back on penalties, and they have a third down and long, and they're still in it. They're still in it, come out and just execute very well down the field, and then just credit the actual offensive group right there with that drive, because everybody did their job, and they executed all the way. Coach Cody Roloff right there and his staff just doing a great job right there of, of, you know, just putting the confidence into their kids that, hey, you know, we could be in this game, and right now they're ahead by seven. First and 10 from their own 20. They get a handoff right up the middle and nowhere for him to go as the Lancers hold him down. Nice job there as that handoff went to Angel Landavazo. Angel Landavazo, another player for the Barons that can make things happen. He's only a sophomore as well, 5'7", 185 pounds. That kid is solid. Oh, yeah, Landavazo too plays on you know, both sides of the ball and you know, just very versatile for the uh, Benita Vista team. Austin Kane has yet to try to go to a tall Kalik, or big receiver on the near side. Kane looking to throw, looking for Kalik on the near side, has him open, ball's gonna go up and it's incomplete. He threaded the needle between two defenders and a tall Kalik almost came away with it. Now you called that play right there, Valentina, as a little, little pump and go to a tall Kalik. Double defender right there, you had uh, one over coverage by the safety coming over to help. A lot of the uh, Benita Vista parents uh, thought he was interfered with right there. A little incidental contact going up for the ball. That was good coverage by the Lancers. So two receivers to the near side. They're gonna fake the handoff. He's gonna be sacked, hit in the backfield, and then taken down. So he dodged one tackler, then finally was taken down by the offensive line of Hilltop. And I see the offensive line, Bob, because there was like three people on that tackle. Yeah, but right there coming up big for Hilltop right there was uh, Richard Estrada, linebacker, who finally finished off quarterback Austin Kane on that play and bringing up a punting situation here deep in their own territory for Benita Vista. A big three and out situation there for Hilltop as the defense holds on three straight downs. And now Benita Vista will have to punt this ball away. As the kick is away, it'll be a nice spiral kick. Be taken from about the 50 yard line. The ball is dropped and then recovered. So Hilltop dodges one there as on that return for Hilltop was Cameron Smith. Yeah, Cameron Smith right there, uh, you know, let, not, not judging the ball as well as he'd like to on that, on that punt. You know, and, and, and that's one of the hardest things Valentin to do is, is to catch punts. I mean, that, that ball, when, it's, when it tails down, it comes down so fast, you know, faster than what people think. And uh, good job he had the wherewithal to cover that and maintain possession. Split back formation here for the Lancers. They're gonna give it the hand up on the left side. And once again, there goes Drake Matarang. Matarang dodges one tackle, he's up to the 30, he's up to the 20, up to the 15, dodges another tackle into the end zone. Touchdown, Lancers, once again. Matarang goes 50, 53 yards into the end zone for a touchdown. Well, Drake Matarang right there got the touchdown, but credit the block on fullback Dustin Downs. Great block on the outside linebacker. 
Thought he was going to kick him out, but then he just kind of turned him back in, allowing Matarang to hit the outside, and then he was just off to the races. Hilltop up 20-7 to seven right here with 5 minutes 20 seconds to go in the first half. Matarang going 53 yards downfield into the end zone for a score. And it is a 20 to 7 ball game as we await this extra point kick. And the hold is down, kick is up, and nearly blocked. But it is going to be good. 21 7, the Lancers lead here from Olympian High School on your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. 520 left here in this first half of play. And I got to tell you, 0-4 team Hilltop Lancers. I got to tell you, I, it, league, they're going to make a statement here tonight if they can win this game. Well, what I like what Hilltop's doing right now is they're staying on their blocks. And, and that's really the key. Offensive line and their fullback are staying on their blocks, allowing to hit the edges. And right now, Bonita Vista can't defend it outside. They're, they're hitting the edges on toss sweep. They're hitting the edges on screen pass. They're hitting the edges right there on off tackle plays. And right now, Benita Vista has to make some adjustments defensively because right now Hilltop definitely has a momentum. Well, Benita Vista's got 520 left here in this first half of play to try to answer back. 14 unanswered points so far here for the Hilltop Lancers actually make it 21 unanswered points as they'll take that one from the one yard line. Sue trying to work the right side of the field will be taken down at about the 10 yard line. But they're going to give him forward progress. And they're going to mark him down at about the 14. Oh, that was good kick coverage right there by Hilltop. Chris Sanchez right down there quickly on the tackle, holding the speedy Caleb Sue to about a 10 yard return. Well, the Bonita Vista bearing offense hasn't looked at, like the offense we saw uh, two weeks ago. Well, two weeks ago, they were, they were a little bit more balanced than they were tonight. Right now, it seems like Benita's, you know, trying to establish the run, which is good, and then come up over the top uh, to the receivers, Atal Kalik. But right now, you know, they're down by two touchdowns. Five minutes, 12 seconds left to play in the half. And, you know, they just, you know, no need to panic. Plenty of football left. Benita's been here before. They're very deep at running back. They just have to just keep the chains moving. Austin Kane under center, eye formation. They're going to give the handoff. Right side, Delvin Miller gets the carry, and he gets a gain of about eight yards. There you go. That's just a lead play right there. Miller following Ricky Alvarez. Excuse me, not Ricky Alvarez on that play at fullback. Right now, Ricky got a, uh, got a break off on that play. But it was just good job by Miller right there hitting the hole. Good pickup of about nine yards. Now they're going to give him 10 oh, yards on that one in the on first play. down. Yeah, Angel Landavazo right now on, um, on that carry. Or excuse me, at fullback. I formation once again and gave the handoff up the middle and nowhere for him to go. Hilltop. Hilltop gets held short. A little bit of an extracurricular activity going on there. Well, Caleb Sue trying to uh, get there between the tackles, hitting it hard. One yard pickup on the play. Out comes Sue, and in comes Delvin Miller at that uh, tailback position. Well, Delvin Miller, 5'9", 170 pounds. Looks a little bigger than that. He at least runs a little bigger than that. Eye formation once again. One receiver to the near side. Play action fake. Then give it out into the flat. Delvin Miller gets it. He's up to the 35 out at the 36-yard line. Close to the first down marker, depending on the spot. They're going to say, oh, they're going to say he stepped out of bounds at the 32. Well, that's just a little delayed little flare pass right out there to Miller. Just, you know, just run after the catch. And Miller using his speed to get outside. Brings up a third and about four yards on the play. Bonita Vista needs to keep this drive alive with three minutes, 55 seconds to play in the half and hopefully get down in scoring position, at least get a field goal out of this drive. 
A big third down situation here for the Lance, for, for the Lancers as well, defensively, as I formation here for the Barons. They're going to give it off to Sue. Sue goes up the middle, gets the first down. He needed four, he got six. Well, good job by Caleb Sue, just uh, you know, picking his way through the uh, second level of the uh, Hilltop defense. When, so, when your safeties are making the tackles, that means you're going to be getting some first downs. Well, Bonita Vista electing to keep it on the ground. Takalik has been targeted once. Every single time I say that, it almost seems like they throw it to him. <laughs> Split back formation here for Bonita Vista. Takalik to the far side. They're going to give it on the fake. And then Delvin Miller gets it on the, near, on, the, on the inside as he gets a gain of about six yards. Nice run there by Delvin Miller. Yeah, good hard run by Delvin Miller. And Delvin Miller right now providing the spark for the Barron offense right now as he comes off the sidelines. And Caleb Sue comes in and gives him a breather. Trying to keep fresh legs in there. It almost seems like they come out every other play. Well, that's what I like about Benita Vista is that they're very deep at running back. And that's exactly right, Valentin. You have fresh legs in there all the time. And that sustains drives. Same formation, only this time they put a league to the near side. Going to go ahead and give a hand up to Sue. Sue over right guard. He gets up to about the first down marker, just short. And it's going to be a third down and short here for the Barons. So it'll be a third down and about one to go. We'll call it a half a yard. First down marker. It looks like it's at the 37 yard line. The ball is in between the 36 and the 37. So third down and about six inches. How's that? Split back formation. They're gonna keep it on the quarterback sneak and they're gonna get another two yards, make it three and a first down. Now getting close to two minutes, the clock stops in high school football when you get a first down so they can reset the chains. They'll blow this live right here. Clock ticking with two minutes to go. Hilltop at midfield, looking for a, to get at least on the board here with two minutes left to play in the half. Ball spotted just inside Barron territory. Out of the gun goes Kane. He's going to be pressured, needs to get away. It drops the ball on the ground, and it's going to be recovered by who? It might be Barron Ball still. Heads up play there by the tight end, Gabe Bell. Well, that was a heads up play too by Austin Kane right there when he knew he was in trouble and almost in the grasp of the defender, just kind of did a little shovel pass forward just to, you know, have it be a forward pass to call that an incompletion. It stops the clock and also brings up second down. Second down and 10 to go. Looking to pass again. He's going to get pressured and he gets taken down in the backfield at the 40 yard line. Austin Kane got leveled. David Vasquez right there coming on the linebacker blitz and nobody picked it up. And he came in free of charge and just leveled Austin Kane for a huge loss. So that makes Benita Vista take a timeout. Austin Kane lost his helmet and everything on that one. So coming in for Bonita Vista is Capos. And so go ahead and give the handoff. Delvin Miller on the right side. He's up to the 45. 50 out of, out, out of balance at about midfield. Short of the first down, that'll bring a fourth down situation here, another punting situation for the Barons. Well, I, st I still, it, although it's a punting situation right there, number nine, Delvin Miller's getting you yards. I like the way that he runs. He has a nice burst of acceleration going through the line, and sooner or later, he's going to break one. So Bonita will punt the ball away. Cameron Smith back to receive at his own 20 yard line. High snap, but the kick is up 
And it's coming straight down, fair caught at about the 10 yard line. So Cameron Smith will go ahead and fair catch it at the 10 yard line. That's where they'll have it first and 10 with one minute left here in the first half of play. Well, Bonita Vista taking the ball or choosing to take the ball at the 10 yard line. Little surprise calling for a fair catch on that. He had about 15, 20 yards in front of him where he could have got a little bit better field position. But nevertheless, they take possession on the 10-yard line. One minute left to play, and they're up by a score of 21-7. First and 10, split back formation here for the Hilltop Lancers. They'll go ahead and cut it back to the near side and dodging one tackler. Two tacklers, three tacklers, and finally brought down at the 36-yard line. Nice carry there by Drake Matarang. Drake Matarang getting his yards tonight and using the entire field. Good vision. He just saw it inside, then all of a sudden he just took a stutter step to the outside, saw the opening, and just started heading for the numbers. A timeout taken by Hilltop, and nice job there too, securing the ball close to his body. He didn't have it out, he didn't have it by his side, he had it tucked in nice, 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 nice and, and snug. And one of the Bonita Vista Barons, when he came to make the tackle, he tried to knock that ball out, the ball didn't go move anywhere. Well, one thing right there, I'm sure that one of the coaches are gonna tell Matarang is that, you know, when you're in this situation, now that you have 48 seconds left and you break a big run like that, if you're not gonna get the touchdown, run out of bounds, stop the clock, because that way, Hilltop right there, they had to use a timeout. You can get the ball inside in the red zone, save your timeouts, so that way you got a couple more shots at the end zone. Well, the Hilltop Lancers took advantage and were taking advantage of the left side of the field on their last drive. And this, on this last play, they went ahead and tried to use the right side of the field, and that worked well for them too. 21-7 with 48.9 seconds left here in the first half of play. Valentina Escanuela alongside Bob Osuna live from Chula Vista, California, here on the campus of Olympian High School. And now Hilltop. We'll put one receiver to either side here for Sanchez. Sanchez under center, surveying the defense. We'll go ahead and give the handoff on the near side and once again, trying to get out of bounds and staying in bounds on that carry is Dustin Dons. Downs. So the clock continues to roll with 30 seconds left here in the first half of play. They have an opportunity to get maybe one more playoff here. They hurry up to the line of scrimmage. A lot of time's ticking off for Hilltop right there. Getting back in the huddle and getting in the line of scrimmage. One receiver to either side. Ball is fumbled and dropped and then finally taken down right at the line of scrimmage is Sanchez. Right. Second time Sanchez drops the snap. Yeah, and I think with that one right there, you just call it a half. Let that clock run out, two, one, zero and go in at halftime with a, with a nice 14-point lead. Oh, that's going to end the first half of play with the Hilltop Lancers leading the Bonita Vista Barons by a score of 21-7. to We'll be back in a few moments with the PlayOnSports.com halftime show. Don't go anywhere. It's Friday Night Football on PlayOnSports.com, your destination for high school sports. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're gonna come at you. One shot at this.
Welcome back to the PlayOnSports.com halftime show coming to you from John Devo DeVore Stadium in Chula Vista, California. I'm Valentin Escanuel alongside Bob Osuna. Our halftime score is the Hilltop Lancers 21 and the Bonita Vista Barons 7. And an interesting first half of play. We're talking about an 0-4 team in the Hilltop Lancers. They do not look like an 0-4 team on that field so far. No, not at all. Their first drive, you know, they had a mishap with a little fumble and and they had to punt, but since then, they've been playing with a lot of confidence, and they've just been, you know, moving the chains and working, the, especially the outside flanks of the uh, Bonita Vista defense, and they're getting their yards on the ground, you know, and uh, Daniel Sanchez, the quarterback for Hilltop, is, is playing very poised out there, you know, although there's a couple of muffed snaps in the game, you know, he, he's managing the game. He's not throwing the game away, but he really doesn't have to right now because those running backs for the Hilltop uh, Lancers, Montel Campbell, Dustin Downs, and Drake Matarang, they're doing a great job right there and credit the, uh, the offensive linemen for the Lancers. They're, they're just really winning the battle of the line of scrimmage. Well, some big plays there by the players that you just mentioned. Montel Campbell had a 41-yard scamper into the end zone for a touchdown. And then Drake Matarang, 53 yards uh, rushing touchdown as well. So two big plays in that first half of play for those two kids. 14 points for the Hilltop Lancers. Yeah, and then on the Benita Vista side of the ball right now, surprisingly, you know, down right now in this game by two touchdowns. But if you're Benita Vista, you don't want to panic right now. You have a, you know, great running back core, and you just need to establish drives and keep moving the ball. Their first drive was flawless to start the game, Valentin. Move the ball, they finished the drive. But since then, they really haven't been able to finish any drives. Either there's some, uh, they get themselves in, in third and longs. But then again, you have to credit the Hilltop defense for countering that, coming up with some good blitz packages at the right time and putting Bonita Vista in those third and long positions. One thing that we really haven't seen from Bonita Vista has been the air attack. And Atal Khalik was targeted twice in the entire first half of play. Look for Atal Khalik to go ahead and get a little bit more integrated into the offense here in the second half of play. Well, that's certainly what they would like to do is get him integrated in the offense right now. And they really haven't been able to find the time. Austin Kane right there took a couple of couple of sacks and a couple of hard hits by the, uh, by the uh, Hilltop linebacker blitzes. But let's see if they can make adjustments on that right there offensively. Maybe keep somebody on the back side or keep a back in the middle to check the middle for those middle blitzes. And maybe they can hit Colleague down the field for a long touchdown. A couple of names to go ahead and keep in mind, folks, is going to be guys like Francisco Valdez and Angel Landavazo. Those two kids, they kind of, they're one of those sneaky players that kind of get in between. You don't really hear much about them, but when you, they do touch the ball, they make big things happen. Bonita Vista want to get them involved as well. Oh, absolutely, and that's where their depth comes in right there. And also, Delvin Miller. Look for Delvin Miller in the second half. He showed signs of breaking, breaking one early. I wouldn't be surprised if you have Delvin Miller either carrying the ball or hitting him out on the flat, but he makes people miss, and he has the speed to break one all the way from anywhere in the field. Bonita Vista trying to go 3-2 and two overall. The Hilltop looking for their first win here at Olympian High School. And I got to tell you, it's got to be a, a weird thing for you being a Bonita Vista player when you're playing all of your games pretty much all over the South Bay. <laughs> You know, you don't really have a home field right now, so you're going to Chula Vista, you're going to, you know, Otay, Otay Ranch, and then you're coming to Olympian High School as well to play games. So neutral field, nonetheless, you got your crowd on your side. you got to get things going here offensively in the second oh, half of play. Absolutely, and Bonita Vista right now as they come out in the field, and they do have a good crowd here on their side of the stands. And, you know, and when you don't have a home field like they do this year, it makes it difficult. But you know what? These Benita Vista fans are great. Come out here, and they're making this their home field here at, at Olympian High School tonight. Well, folks, that's going to do it for the PlayOnSports.com halftime show. Friday night football will return in just a few moments with the start of the second half. Right here on your destination for high school sports, PlayOnSports.com.
You're watching PlayOnSports.com's presentation of Friday Night Football live from Chula Vista, California. I'm Valentin Escanuela with Bob Osuna. As we get ready for second half action, Bonita Vista kicking this ball away. They'll go ahead and kick it end over end, taking from about the 10 yard line up to the 15, 20 he goes. He's up to the 25, 30. Still on his feet up to the 38 yard line. A great return there. Once again, the return man for the Lancers, Cameron Smith. Sergio Vidrio, excuse me, on that return. Yeah, Vidrio right there just. Boy, he has speed. <laughs> <laughs> Little guy, 5'7", 145 pounds, and lightning fast and going up towards the 40-yard line. As a, uh, see a Benita Vista players down on the ground, Brian Contreras. No, it's Christian me. Villegas. Christian Villegas. So hopefully he is okay as the players take down, go down on one knee and we start out the second half of play. The Hilltop Lancers lead this one 21-7 over Bonita Vista, and they get the ball to start off this second half of play. So if you're if you're a Hilltop, best thing you can do here on this first drive is put a score up and put the pressure back on Bonita Vista. Oh, absolutely. You want uh, <laughs> Bonita Vista playing on their heels right now and really send a message to them and try not to let them back into this ball game. But then again, you know, you want to make sure that you're playing fundamentally sound football. Don't turn the ball over. Play within yourself. They're playing. Uh, Hilltop's playing with a lot of confidence right now, and that's what really is probably making Coach Roloff over there and his coaching staff, you know, very pleased at this point. Their young team right there playing with a high level of confidence and really taking it to the Benita Vista uh, Barons this first half. Well, plenty of football left here, Bob, and. I mean, 21-7, to seven, you're only down two scores if you're Bonita Vista. You get a big three-down stop here, three downs and out. You get the ball back, you put a score up, and you're only down one with uh, oh, yeah. two quarters left to play. Oh, absolutely. There's a lot of time, you know, a whole second half of football left to play here, and Bonita Vista is, uh, you know, they've been here before. They're, they're going to they're gonna be in these situations, and a lot of the veteran leadership on this team, you know, you, know, you, you thrive on situations like this, you know. And uh, you just want that opportunity to, to get, get that ball back and really get going. I can tell before the sidelines, Delvin Miller running back for the Benita Vista uh, Barons, who had a really good first half. You know, he was just, you can see on the sidelines, he's just wanting to go in and, you know, and get things going. He's ready to go. As well, it looks like so Christian helping. Villegas is being helped off the field. Unable to put any kind of pressure on his left, on his left foot. So all of a sudden we have a candy fight. <laughs> and too bad they didn't throw me a candy up here. Cheerleaders chucking them <laughs> into the stands. People getting pegged up in the stands. That's but they don't mind because it's always good when you got candy in your hand. <laughs> the Hilltop Lancers will start off first and 10 as they give the handoff up the middle and the Bonita Vista Barons are going to make a tackle two yards in, a gain of about two yards on that carry for Campbell. That was a good job by the Bonita Vista defense just swarming to the ball right there. Second down and eight, ball spotted at the 41-yard line of the Hilltop Lancers. A great field position to start off this first possession here in the second half of play. Man in motion, that's going to be on a Campbell on a toss sweep to the far side, and he gets up another, maybe he gets another three yards on that carry, and it'll bring a third down and about five to go. Okay, so the toss sweep to the right worked very well for them in the first half. They're going back to it. Campbell gets close to a first down. Oh, not, too, not as close as I thought. Got about three yards in that carry. So third down and five. So great pursuit there by Bonita Vista to make the tackle. Yeah, absolutely. So a third down and about, we'll call it four to go. A long four to go here for the Hilltop Lancers. Split back formation for Sanchez. Sanchez barking his signals at the line of scrimmage. He'll take the snap and he'll fake play action fake. Pass to the near side is completed. 
to the near side to the 40. Dodges one tackler, two tacklers, then gets down at about the 35 yard line. Nice job there by Matarang once again as he makes a little bit more out of something on that one. Yeah, Jake Ma or Drake Matarang right there coming out of the uh, backfield out to the flat. Catches the ball, runs with the ball really well. Looks like he's hobbled up on that, uh, on that play right there, Valentin, as he goes out. A little the sideline. Hobbling a little bit out, out, out on the sideline. I'm sure he's going to go out there and let his ankle rest for a little bit and he'll be back in the game right away because Matarang is a key player here for the Lancers tonight. One receiver to either side for Sanchez. Sanchez under center will go ahead and get the handoff on the delay and up the middle goes Campbell. A gain of about three yards. Nice little delay counter right there. Montel Campbell cutting it back inside. Pick up of about three, four yards on that play. The running game continues to be effective here in the second, the start off the second half of play here for the Lancers as jogging back onto the field from the sideline is Sanchez with the play call from the coach. Sanchez brings the, line, the team to the line of scrimmage. Surveys the defense, two receivers to the far side, two to the near side here for Sanchez. Sanchez looking to throw, looking downfield. Instead, he'll keep it on the keeper. He's up to the 30 and then gets down at about the third. Yeah, they're going to keep him at the 30 yard line and they're going to see what's going on here. And we have a flag now throw and it's going to be a personal foul call. That's going to go against the Hilltop Lancers. That's going to come back 15 yards. So a very silly foul there by the Lancers. And this is where discipline takes, takes play, starts taking effect here in the second half of play. You can't have fouls like that on the field, especially when you're driving the ball nicely. Now those are uncalled for right there. They just really take the air out of your sails. And Cameron Smith, I think said a couple of words to one of the players and then give him a little shove and the referee, the official was right there on him. I think he was probably standing about three feet away from him there, Bob. <laughs> So personal foul call will bring him back 15 yards. It's going to be a long, and I mean a long, long, long second down. Well, that ball's marked on the left hash right there for the Lancers, which makes that right side of the field wide open. And they love working that right side of the field in the first half of play. Look for them to continue nice call with for, that. Nice call for a little screen pass to a the little right. Screen pass mm -hmm. out into the flat to Campbell. Man in motion to the right side. There goes Campbell into the slot. And now rolling to the right side. And throwing to the right side. Having a receiver open. It's caught. And here comes the flag. So a flag from the back judge. And who is this going to go against? Well, I think that back judge must have been a center fielder back in his day because he threw that ball, that flag from about the 10 yard line <laughs> all the way across the field. It's amazing how accurate they are to go ahead and throw those flags within within five yards of where the, the penalty occurred. It's going to be a holding call. It's going to be. It's going to go against. Uh, it's going to go against the it's defense. Yeah, defensive holding on this one here. So if that ball was caught, well, it looks like you had a little flood play as they rolled to the right. Had all your receivers dragging from the left side of the field across to the right. And just one of the defenders uh, just holding them downfield. So this is gonna be a first down. So the clock continues to tick. So now we got an official timeout on there. We'll see what they wanna do with this one, but there's still a flag on the field and the official still discussing maybe where the holding occurred and where they're gonna move the ball up from. So 8.14 left on the clock. The clock was continuing to run as they were trying to figure this out. So I'm sure they're gonna put some time back on that clock. And I think he's trying to I think he's trying to ask the coach if he wants the if he wants to decline or if he wants to take the penalty because the ball was caught in bounds. Question is did he get the first down? 
Well, the thing is, I think it was, you know, you have defensive holding right there, so it's going to be from automatic the first down. From the line of scrimmage, it's going to be an automatic first down. He caught the ball. The ball was caught inside the 30 yard line at the 20 is where they have it spotted. So if they decline, there'll be a third down and short to go, third down and two. If they accept it, it's gonna be a first down, but the ball will be back at about the 42 yard line. Make it the 41 yard line. So as a coach, you gotta decide, do I take the first and 10 from the 41 or do I take the third and short? inside the 30 at the 26. Well, if I say what I do, they're probably gonna do the opposite. So what would you do, Bob? <laughs> I would I, I would always go for a new set of downs. Right so there. would I. But that's the reason why we're up here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see, here comes the official. And he's gonna come down to the middle of the field and say holding against Hilltop. Okay, the first call was holding against Bonita Vista. Now wow. after the conference out in the field, it comes out to be holding against Hilltop. So I'm confused, Valentin, and hopefully uh, we're gonna see which way the ball goes, which direction. So this might be coming back 10 yards. And we'll do second down all over again. So well, I'm confused, you're well, confused. Well, I think it, the officials are confused. Well, if it's holding against the offense, you can decline the penalty. So it's gonna come back 10 yards. Yeah, so you It's gonna uh, come back almost to the last line of scrimmage, which was the ball was spotted at about the 40, about the 46 yard line of, uh, okay, so now the ball's gonna move back to the original line of scrimmage, and we're gonna go back to the 36. So we we gotta get some clarification as to what's going on here. So they're gonna go ahead and put the ball at the 36 yard line. So third down and 10, they're gonna call it. Ball spotted at the 36. If we get word of what just happened on the field, we will let you know, folks. Two receivers to either side here for Sanchez. Third down and 10, man in motion. And they're gonna go ahead and go with the toss sweep to the near side. And once again, it's Matarang trying to get around the corner and he gets taken down. Nice tackle there by Bonita Vista. Ross Brisbois, Brisbois. Brisbois. With the tackle. And that's one of the things that we've been waiting to call his name all and we night got long, Ross, Ross Brisbois. And we got another flag on the field as well, Bob, on the near side. I didn't, I didn't catch it, but it's right here, right on the near side. The wow. players were standing there right now, and now you can actually see it. That was a great play by Breezeball right there, just coming up from his safety position. Actually, he's the leading tackler for the uh, Bonita Vista Barons. 12 tackles, seven assists coming in tonight. But looks like they're moving the chains down towards uh, Bonita Vista's side of the field, so. Looks like it might be a personal foul call here. It looked like it moved 15 yards. And a first down for the Lancers. So first down and 10, ball now at the 20 yard line. That's gonna be in Barron territory, Barron's 20 yard line. Ball is fumbled again, and he goes down on one knee to pick it up, and he was downed right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a loss of one yard on that down play. Well, those things right there kill you right there when you have those muff snaps. That's the third snap of the game. The Sanchez and the center are not on the same page on. Ball is dropped, and it leads to a loss of yardage. So second down, we'll call it 12 here. Second down and 12, ball at the 22 yard line. 
Sanchez with split backs. Campbell in the backfield. And they're going to go ahead and roll Sanchez to the outside. Has a receiver open, and here comes another flag on the end zone. He gets into the end zone for the touchdown, but we have a flag depending on who it goes against. This might be coming back, but a nice pass there by Sanchez to Dustin Downs out into the flat on the right side, and Dustin Downs takes it into the end zone for a touchdown. That was a good job by Sanchez right there, just uh, keeping his poise as he was getting blitz on the blitz right there by Ricky Alvarez just came in and just put a good lick on him after the throw. And it looks like this is going to go against holding, and it's going to go against Bonita Vista, so that touchdown is good. Touchdown Lancers. And add another six to the scoreboard, 27-7 here. The Lancers on top as we await the extra point. I got to tell you, Hilltop does not look like an 0-4 team. If you are in the in their league, in the Metro South League, you got to watch out for Hilltop because they're starting to put it together here offensively, and they are looking good tonight. So that kick is up, and it is going to be good. 28-7. The Lancers lead here on your home for high school sports, playonsports.com. And with 7.10 left here in the third quarter of play, you take a lot of time off the clock. You keep the Bonita Vista the offense off the field, and you put seven points on the board. Yeah, and that was a very bizarre type of, uh, of possession right there for Hilltop. They come out, you know, with a, with a touchdown right there leading 28 to 7 with 7 minutes 10 seconds left to play in the third quarter but you had penalties right there that we didn't know if it was going to go against Bonita Vista was going to go against Hilltop it was I didn't know. count the penalties there Bob but I want I'm going to take a guess I'm going to say there was at least six penalties yeah, five could, penalties yeah, five to six penalties on that drive right there so we had two on both sides we had one back that brought them back and they got a first down and then they got another one on Bonita Vista and then this last one right here, so about five penalties on that drive there for Hilltop. Nonetheless, they put the ball in the end zone, and they're up 28-7 to here to start off the second half of play. And if you're Coach Roloff, you got to be real happy with the Lancers right now. That ball will bounce, and it'll go out of bounds right at the five-yard line. So here comes another penalty flag. And that's going to put them at the 35-yard line, first and 10. Great field position here for the Barons. Well, now the Barons just have to take advantage of this good field position right there. That's, Hilltop just gave them a gift, a gift of field position right now to, to, to get right back into this contest. Again, a lot of football left to play. Just that you have to take advantage of your opportunities. And right now, here's an opportunity for Benita Vista to get their offense on the field and to start moving the chains. So first down and 10 here for Bonita Vista. They trail this game 28 to seven against the Hilltop Lancer squad that is supposedly 0-4. From the looks of it, they look more like 4-0. Pass out into the flat to the near side. Pat is complete by Sue. Sue rushing down the sideline and gets out of bounds. They're gonna mark him out of bounds at the 45. First down, though, for Bonita Vista. Nice little bubble screen by Caleb Sue coming out of his slot position right there. Good job by Atal Kalik blocking for him downfield. And you see Caleb Sue's explosiveness with speed. Waited, timed it, and then he had that little after um, afterburner burst there and got an extra five yards on that on that play. So first and ten, ball now at the 45-yard line. Two receivers to the near side, one to the far side there for Austin Kane. Kane will give the handoff to Miller. Miller dodges one tackler, spins around, dodges two tacklers. Still on his feet, and another first down here for Bonita Vista. Ball came loose, but he was already down, they're saying. He was down on, on contact. That looked close from here, Valentin. But good job by... <laughs> Good job by Miller. I mean, I saw three spins on that carry right there. Spins aren't dangerous, though, they because are. it causes that hand to either kind of get untucked from under you. 
That ball gets out and about. Someone's going to punch that ball out, out of your arms. And in that case, that ball came loose, but they called them down on the ground, down on, count, on contact. Offset eye formation here now for Bonita Vista. Two receivers to the near side for Kane. There's motion at the line, and here comes the flags again. So flags littering the field all game long today. And this time it's going to go against Hilltop. Adrian Rios again, second time tonight that he's... Uh had an encroachment penalty on him as he goes to the uh, to the sideline and is hearing an earful from Coach Chris Gritz, defensive line coach, longtime coach for Hilltop. So first down and five to go here, and they're going to give it to Diller, to Miller on a on a pitch, and he's going to get another maybe two yards on that carry, bringing down a third down and about three to go. I mean, seems second down and three to go. So second and three, make it second and four. Don't give him one yard on that carry. But the Barons now in Hilltop territory. Two receivers to the near side. A tall Kalik. They're going to give it to Miller. Miller over the left guard, and he's going to get another six yards on that one. Another first down. So Dalvin Miller. Starting to work the ground game here for the Barons. Well, you see right back, back at fullback is Ricky Alvarez. And Alvarez right there made the not, made the key block to spring Miller to the outside. For a while there in the second quarter, Alvarez was not present in that backfield. But it's good to see him back there playing his starting position at fullback and opening some holes. First down and 10, ball now at the 33-yard line of the Lancers. Bonita Vista looking to put a drive together here. Once again, Atal Kalik has not been targeted here in this second half of play. They will send Atal Kalik to the far side of the field. And they're going to stack the receivers back to back. Offset eye formation. Here comes a flag, and we're going to have a delay of game. So let's bring that ball back five yards. It'll be a first down and 15 now here for the Barons. Jonathan Schultz checking in for the Barons. So on a first and 15, let's see what the Barons come out with. Kane, two receivers to the near side. And they're going to go ahead and fake the handoff, looking for Kalik downfield. Kalik goes up for the grab. He goes off his fingertips. Incomplete. He was asking for a flag. He's saying, somebody held my jersey. The official says, nope. That was good coverage from his vantage point. And it'll be second down and 15 now here for the Barons. Well, the defensive back on that play was late getting into position to cover Kalik. He was playing off. Then all of a sudden, he came in for press coverage. They saw that. It was a hot route to throw him a, 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 a nice streak down the sidelines, but the ball was underthrown, and Kalik had to come back for it. If he would have let him out a little bit, that was six points right there. Kalik had two steps on the defender on that one. As now working out of the gun, looking for the, for the screen pass, and that would have been a great play there by Bonita Vista. If Kalik comes away with that pass, he also goes in for six. Oh, yeah, that was set up perfectly right there as they try to come in for that middle screen to uh, to Atal Kalik, but it was overthrown. So now it brings up a third down and long for Benita Vista. Again, taking advantage of your opportunities. Let's see if Benita Vista can keep this drive alive here on third down. So third down and 15. If you're Bonita Vista, this is probably fourth down territory for you. you got to get it in two downs, so you have two downs to get a first down. As working out of the gun, coming in and pressuring his hilltop, throwing downfield is going to be incomplete, underthrown. Intended for Sue. Well, that was good pressure coming off the edges right there for Bonita Vista. Adrian Rios recalling his name a lot tonight, coming off the edge right there, applying pressure. So like you said, four down territory right here for Benita Vista. This is no man's land at the high school level, so you go for it here on fourth down. So you figured if you, on third down, if you can get a completion downfield, you know, shorten up that fourth down situation so you can have a fourth and short or fourth and five, fourth and six. Instead, you're facing a fourth and 15. 
So Kalik to the near side. Let's see if they send somebody in motion to the far side, try to isolate um, Atal Kalik on the near side. I formation, two receivers to the near side. No, they're going to go ahead and play action fake. And here comes the pressure again. Screen pass to the far side. Bell gets it, and he'll be tackled and taken down, and here come the flags again. Well, you know what? Hilltop's going to get a chance to go again right there because you had defensive holding, or at least it should be defensive holding. It could go either way, but to me it looked like uh, – Defensive back on that play for uh, Hilltop, Sergio Bueno was holding Kalik downfield for about 10, 15 yards. So I think Hilltop is, go is going to be called for holding on the play. Holding against Hilltop. So it still brings up a fourth down situation. So it's going to be 10 yards from the line of scrimmage but you don't have to go that far to, to convert now. So, again, taking advantage of your opportunities right now, Bonita Vista, they just got 10 free yards right there to make it from a fourth and long to a fourth and manageable. Let's see where they place this ball. They give them five yards on that penalty. It'll bring down a fourth down and 10, better than fourth and 15. Got to take it any way you can right now. So still a fourth down situation here, but now a more manageable one. Now you now only got to go 10 yards. And let's see if the Bonita Vista front line can go ahead and hold the pressure of the Lancers. The last two plays, they've had two or three guys come right through the line without being... Contained at the line of scrimmage, and now we have a timeout called, and the officials calling a timeout. So let's see what they do here. Now I really like to see Bonita Vista isolate a talk a league on one-on-one -on -one situation on the near side of the field somehow. Well, right there when they lined up Valentin, because the last play what they had, they had a safety over the top on the same side as Kalik. Right there, you had single coverage on the right side with the safety playing on the other side of the field on the left side. So you had isolated coverage. Would have been a great opportunity right there for Kalik. So a timeout call on the field. And now the, the officials are having a little discussion on the field. So let's see what they come away with. It's going to be a fourth down situation here for Bonita, Bonita Vista, no matter what. You see, here, and here's the situation. The last penalty right there was holding. Holding from the line of scrimmage. A holding penalty is 10 yards. They only marked off five. So that's what I think Coach Raby is complaining about right now, is that, hey, I should have had 10 yards on that penalty, and so it should be you give 10 yards on that penalty, you move down. I should be fourth and four right now, not fourth and nine. So the officials are talking it over. Let's see if they get this one right. We had a, another situation on the last drive, on Hilltop's scoring drive, where we had a couple of flags and ball went back and forth. It went back 10, it came back five, it went back 10 again, and then it came back again. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what they do. So they're gonna go ahead and remark this off. And they should be taking and 10 steps. And it's going to put there them go. inside the 30-yard line now. So now it's going to be a fourth down and very manageable. That's the right call. Fourth and five. So here we go, fourth and five. You're thinking pass on a fourth and ten. Now with a fourth and five, you can do pretty much anything. You're trying to get those five yards. Split back formation here for Bonita Vista. There's a pass and it's incomplete. Intended for a talk a leak on a quick slant. Against that defense right there, they had double coverage on Kalik over the top again, but that was a quick slant. And Kalik beat his guy off the ball. The ball was thrown behind him. And now Hilltop takes over on downs. So the Hilltop Lancers hold on that one. They lead here 28 to seven with 4.05 left in the third quarter of play. Valentina Escanuela alongside Bob Osuna. Live from Chula Vista, California here on the campus of Olympian High School. 
And now, giving the handoff up the middle and going forward, getting the gain of about 10 yards on that one, I believe it was Campbell. Campbell, the workhorse here tonight for the Lancers. Montel Campbell right there, running ferociously with high knees. Oh, I love to see that in a running back when he's running through the middle and running with high knees. Kind of reminds me of old Roger Craig from the San Francisco 49ers. 49ers. He used to run that way. That's old school. One receiver to either side here for Sanchez. Sanchez with two men in the backfield. We'll go ahead and give the handoff to his fullback, and he gets it and takes it up the middle. Dustin Downs. And gets a gain of about seven yards. I'm really impressed with the Hilltop running back and the way that they're playing tonight. It's just that it's nothing fancy, no juke. They're just hitting the hole. They're hitting it hard. Well, they got Dustin Downs and Montel Campbell in the backfield. Then they bring Drake Matarang on a wide receiver and a round. And yet they have him down as a running back. So split back formation once again. They're going to give it to Campbell. Campbell oh, nice. gets taken down immediately. Nice tackle there by Bonita Vista. Yeah, Ricky Alvarez right there on backside pursuit. Just coming down the line of scrimmage. Great play right there for Benita Vista by their defensive captain, Ricky Alvarez. 2.37 and ticking here in the third quarter of play. The Hilltop Lancers leading 28 to seven here against the Benita Vista Barons. Who are the hosts here at Olympian High School? Little bit of confusion now. And now Sanchez. Ready to take the snap, play action fake, gets pressured, gets hit, and taken down in the backfield. Bell, Gabe Bell says, you're not going nowhere. You like my double negative? <laughs> Sounded good though. Well, Gabe Bell goes 6'4", and he just wrapped up a five foot nine quarterback. And it's kind of hard when you're that tall right there, you go against a smaller opponent. And he, he tackled them high, right around the uh, high part of the shoulder pads and the neck. Unintentional, but that's just what happens when you have that size right there mismatch. But good job by Bell right there for the sack. And a great defensive stand there by Bonita Vista. Let's see if they can go ahead and transfer that momentum over to their offense as the punt is away. Sue will take it from about the 32-yard line. He's up to the 40. Here's a flag. And Sue's upfield down and out at about the 40 yard line of the Lancers, but this is gonna come back. That's coming back. Daniel Romero is gonna get called for a block in the back. Right there, right around the 42 yard line. You, you, you saw that happening. You called it, Bob, before, it even, before he even pushed him. I just saw that he was just in position to make that block and, you know, inside you're saying, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> 117 left here in the third quarter of play. Benita Vista with an opportunity to go ahead and answer back. 28 unanswered points so far for the Hilltop Lancers that they put up on the board. And Benita Vista was the first one to score in this game. Yeah, Benita Vista came out in their first drive and just... 7-0 uh, from the just, get-go. It's like a hot knife through butter and went down and made the first score of the game. It's going to be called a holding. They called a holding against uh, the Hilltop Lancers. I don't understand, but uh, I'm not. Uh, that's the reason why we're up here. That's why we're up here and we're not referees. So that'll actually bring it up forward. It's going to bring the ball up forward for Bonita Vista, and it's going to give them great field position here in this late in this third quarter of play to try to put some points on the board and get back into this one. Well, if you're Benita Vista, you're going to take that one right there. And boy, that's... That's pretty generous. That is an excellent uh, non-punt return. So non-punt return, that's about 50 yards. Yeah, he got that ball right around the 30 of Benita Vista. 
and takes it to the 30. Yeah, about yard 40 line yards of uh, Hilltop. So about 40 yards there, 50, almost 50 yards in uh, net gain on a non-return. So timeout for Hilltop. This is a great opportunity for Benito Vista to be able to bring the offense over and talk about it. So 28-7, the Hilltop Lancers lead here on PlayOnSports.com, your destination for high school sports. Do you want to watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here tonight? Tell your school to sign up for the Play On Sports School Broadcast Program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. 117 left here in the third quarter of play. The Lancers lead this one 28 to seven over the Barons and the Barons now with very good field position here to start off this possession, this offensive possession. So coming out of a timeout, looks like the officials are also talking over there with Coach Cody Roloff. Roll off as they're explaining to him possibility the possibility of uh, the, the penalty and how they march that ball down. Because when we looked at it, we're like, well, that's pretty. That's a pretty generous call right there. Well, that's a that was like a double penalty right there as far as the yards that they marked it off. So he he's wanting an explanation. Unfortunately, um, it is what it is. Well, first and ten. Benita Vista has it. At the Hilltop 29 yard line. So Austin Kane, the quarterback, will get, give the handoff and up the middle goes Francisco Valdez. So Francisco Valdez now starting to get involved into this offense. This is a kid that we covered two weeks ago that the last fourth quarter play, he went bananas coming out of the backfield. Yeah, and the fresh legs coming in right now as we uh, are inside one minute left to play in the third quarter. So now Dalvin Miller checks in and Austin Kane jog from the sideline with a play. As Kane brings the offense to the line of scrimmage, Gets under center, puts a man in motion. That's going to be a tall colleague to the far side. And now looking to throw, looking downfield for Khalid. Khalid going up for the grab. He catches it, and he's going to go into the end zone for a touchdown. A tall colleague. A tall colleague right there with an, a nice adjustment to the ball. They're trying to hit him on a, on a go route up the uh, far away sideline and under double coverage. The ball was thrown a little bit inside of him. Made a nice adjustment in stride to the ball. Catches it away from his body. The highest point, touchdown Benita Vista. And boy, Benita Vista needed that touchdown right now. Got this crowd, this home crowd back into this game. As the kick is up, the extra point is going to be good. 28 of 14, Bonita Vista gets back into this one here on your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. Well, a tall colleague right there coming up big. And Valentin, we've been waiting all night. We've been waiting for him to, uh, to get his number called. Very talented receiver. You know, and team leader, senior 6'2", 205 pounds. I mean, what more do you want? Yeah, at 6'2", at the high school level, at, at Bob, 6'2", 205 pounds. I mean, you can't ask for a better target than that. You know, very talented. I'm sure a lot of, a lot of schools are looking at him. Definitely a playmaker. So let's see it in the fourth quarter if he's going to become more involved in the Benita Vista offensive game plan. A tall colleague went for a 29-yard touchdown pass as he connected with Austin Kane. Austin Kane connected with him with 17.8 seconds left here in the third quarter of play. So full quarter left here. They're only down two scores now as a little pooch kick comes up 
That's a live ball. It's at the 20-yard line. Somebody better pick it up. Ball goes out of bounds. But it'll remain Hilltop ball. And we needed, I think Hilltop needed a little bit more sense of urgency on that one to get on top of that ball and cover it up. Well, any exactly. Anytime you have a little pooch kick like that or onside kick, the last thing you want to do is just to try to uh, pick it up and run with it. You just want to fall on that ball and cover up. A 14.1 seconds left on the clock. This will be the last play of the third quarter, more most likely. We have a ball game here as Bonita Vista comes back and puts a score on the board just before the third quarter ends and it's a 28 to 14 ball game here from Olympian High School in Chula Vista, California. Split back formation here for the Hilltop Lancers. One receiver to either side for Sanchez. Sanchez will go ahead and get the handoff and making a nice move and getting the first down. It's Dustin Downs. Nice carry by Dustin Downs on that first down carry as we uh, close the book on the third quarter. They're going to go ahead and move the chains. They move the chains. They roll the clock. And they'll take down three, two, one. And that'll bring the third quarter to an end. So after three quarters of play, the Hilltop Lancers lead this one 20 to 14 over Bonita Vista here on your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. You can get a player up here. Ah, oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard right. graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? You start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. As we get ready to get this fourth quarter underway here from Olympian High School, Bob, a great game so far. We had a great first half. Second half is starting to tighten up here as Bonita Vista gets a score on the board. They're down two scores here, 20 to 14 to the Hilltop Lancers. If they can get a big defense to stop here, look for them to get back into this game for sure. Again, I mentioned last uh, drive uh, for Benita Vista to take advantage of their opportunities that they're given, and they did that last drive right there. They you know, had a, a great field position off penalties, and when you turn those penalties and those opportunities into points, that's what you have to do to get back into this game. The Hilltop Lancers working the ground game. It's worked beautifully for them all game long. Dustin Down gets it, and Bonita Vista comes in, traps him up, and then takes him down out of bounds. And a late penalty flag for a late hit. Once they pushed him out of bounds, they should have let him go. Alex Deal, safety for the Bonita Vista Barons, had a, came up nicely from his safety position and throwing the... Uh, Running back for a loss, but I think they almost knocked Dustin Dustin Downs all the way out to the track. So as soon as you they pushed them out of bounds, they should have just took their hands off of man, you're out of bounds. You know, you got a loss of yards for about five, and we'll give you guys a second down and fifteen. Instead, you're gonna give them a first down. Personal foul. It's going to be a late hit against Bonita Vista. You're exactly right, Valentin. So give him 15 yards and a first down. Oh, the... Bonita Vista Barons with their cheers. I think I heard them say we want fried lizards. <laughs> or fried, gizzards. Fried lancers. <laughs> oh, lancers. I thought I heard lizards. Oh, that's that's pretty exotic. Looking to throw, looking downfield. Has a receiver. Overthrow, and incomplete, and a flag. So the officials working those flags all night long. That back judge. Um, He's got a pretty good arm. 
Yeah, he's going to be icing it tonight. He's been throwing that flag so many times. So we'll wait for the official ruling on this one. It's going to be interesting to see how what he saw out there. It's definitely going to be some type of a holding call. We just don't know if it's going to go against the offense or the defense. Well, we'll see. We're waiting for the official, and he's looking at the Bonita Vista. He's going to be holding against Bonita Vista. So that's going to bring him up 10 yards. And that's going to give him a first down. So they're going to move the chains. So 25 yards total on two penalties so far on this drive. So the Hilltop Lancers, they'll take it. They are up 28 of 14. They'll take any yardage they can get right now. First down and 10 here. The ball now in the Barons on the Barons 44 yard line. Sanchez will toss it to Downs. Downs along the left side, spins around, gets hit, and then gets a gain of three yards on that play. Well, Hilltop uh, electing to run to the short side of the field right there to the toss sweep to the left. It's a good job by uh, Montel Campbell. We've been calling his name a lot tonight for his running success, but right there laid a good block on the outside. Allowed Dustin Downs to get around the corner. Pick up a three. Second down and seven to go here for the Hilltop Lancers. Bonita Vista needs a big third down, a big stop here. As the pressure comes in, he gets hit. Reads the pressure nicely. And Campbell down the left side. Runs into his own player. Still on his feet. Still going forward. And finally gets taken down inside the 20-yard line. What a great read by Sanchez on that one. Well, Sanchez right there was under pressure on the blitz and through that backside screen to the left. But boy, he got smacked and got up slowly. But the young quarterback right there playing with a lot of guts, takes a hit, goes over to the sideline, shakes it off, comes back with the play. Sanchez got hit so hard he had to stretch out his hamstrings as he went over to the sideline. That was a hard hit. Clean, but hard. First down and 10. Ball inside the 20-yard line. So inside the red zone go the Lancers. Split back here for, as they give it to Downs. Downs gets hit at the line of scrimmage and taken backwards. They're going to give him forward progress, but it's going to bring a second down and 10 here for the Lancers. Well, that was Ricky Alvarez coming up from the bottom of that pile right there, just grabbing Jersey and waiting for his teammates to come back and finish the tackle. Alvarez right there and company holding the running back to no gain on that play. Second down and 10 here for the Lancers. One receiver to the near side. Fake the handoff play action. Fake pass down the middle. Incomplete. It's going to be a third down now. Third down and 10. Trying to go to tight end. Uh, James led on the play. This will be an interesting situation here. If they can go ahead and get a stop here on third down, will Hilltop go for it on fourth down or will they kick a field goal? So on third down and 10 here, ball spotted at the 18 yard line. You have isolated coverage on the near side and they're going to give it on a delay again to Downs and Downs is taken down immediately for a loss of one yards. Great job by Bonita Vista not falling for that one again. Yeah, that was just a little uh, delayed draw play right there, but that was read perfectly by Stephen Green for the Barons. That was one of those fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. Oh, fool shame. me, shame on you, shame on me. Fool me twice, you won't fool me again. I don't know how it goes, but you know what? It makes sense. <laughs> they weren't fooled. <laughs> here you go, fourth down and 12, and they're actually gonna go for a field goal here. That ball's gonna be blocked. Up for grabs, on the floor, Bonita Vista recovers at the 45-yard line. 
Well, that was a spark right there that Bonita Vista needed, and special teams does it on the field goal attempt. Angel Galvan for the Hilltop Lancers has his field goal attempt blocked by Benita Vista. Now Benita Vista gets another opportunity here, Valentin. First and 10 on their own 48 yard line. First and 10 on their own 48 yard line. Make it 44 yard line. 44, excuse me. Two receivers to the near side. Looking to throw, looking downfield, overthrown, incomplete. Intended pursuit. So right away, once again, I like the play call. Get aggressive. You just had a big turnover on the defensive side. Try to catch them off guard, go downfield, go big. Possible touchdown score. In this case, it's going to be overthrown incomplete. Second down and 10, though, with Bonita Vista in great field position at their own 44-yard line. Now, cornerback for the Lancers, Christian Sandoval, was all over that, though. So working out of the gun now is Austin Kane. Austin Kane with two receivers to the near side, one on the far side. Man to his left hip. He'll get pressure, reads the screen, gives it off. And here come the Barons as he's get hit, and he dodges one tackler, still on his feet up to the 50, past the fifth cross mid marker, and up to the 41-yard line. Angel Lavandazo laying the wood. Londa Vazo is the player we were talking about that they should integrate into the offense here in the second half of play. He did it two weeks ago when we covered him. He's doing it again here tonight. Oh, he is just pumped right now in the backfield as he lines up for this play. Londa Vazo, 5'7", 185 pounds, and that's a solid 185 pounds. Looking downfield, looking for a receiver. Has him open in stride, into the end zone. Touchdown, Bernita Vista. Touchdown, Delvin Miller. Delvin Miller right there that time playing wide receiver. And I noticed that the play before Valentin, I was surprised they split him out to the left. This time on that play, they split him out to the right. You have single coverage on it. And Delvin Miller just has the speed to get behind the secondary. Beautiful pass by Austin Kane. Hits him in stride. Benita Vista's back in this ball game. 8.29 left here in the game. And Benita Vista has cut this Deficit down to one score. The kick is up, and it is going to be good. 28-21, Bonita Vista back in this one. Here on your home for high school sports, playonsports.com. Play on Sports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to great highlights. Follow us at Play on Sports on both Facebook and Twitter. You can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube at youtube.com slash playonnetwork. Keep up with all the high school action every week from your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. We talked about how, how a big of a play it would have been if they would have held them there on fourth down. They get a huge block on special teams, recover the ball at the 45-yard line, and then after a big run by Landa Vazo, they throw a big bomb over to Miller into the end zone. Touchdown, you're down one score. Plenty of football left here with 8.29 left. Well, you're making plays right now on Benita Vista's side of the ball, and they're back in this game. That's going to be a pooch kick once again, taken from about the 10-yard line. He's up to the 15-20, up to the 25, taken down at about the 27-yard line. And that was Sergio Vidrio once again with the, with, with the return. I'm telling you, Valentin, we are on the side of Benita Vista High, and this crowd is into this game right now. They just woke up, and you can hear it behind me, them chanting defense. And this is, you know, Valentin, this is high school football. This is the atmosphere you want to get every single week, and here we have it tonight as Benita Vista climbs back into this one. 28 unanswered points by... The Hilltop Lancers and Bonita Vista has cut it to one score. Split back formation. They're going to go ahead and fake the handoff. Looking to throw on the far side. Ball is up for grabs. Nearly intercepted. As that was intended for Campbell on the far side of the field. Well, right now, the Bonita Vista defense and just the Bonita Vista team right now and fans, they are just boiling over with enthusiasm. 
enthusiasm people, right now. People at home can probably feel the rattling that right under us. <laughs> as people are stomping their feet, making as much noise as they can. Second down and 10 here for the Lancers. Sanchez jogs in from the sideline with the play, brings his offense to the line of scrimmage. One receiver to either side for Sanchez, Bonita Vista on the defensive side. Pitch goes to Downs, Downs on the left side. He gets up for a gain of about four yards short of the first down. Ball will be spotted at the 31 yard line. Well, that was a nice hard run by Dustin Downs right there, just lowering his shoulder. So here you are right now, you got a big third down play right here for Hilltop to keep this drive alive. Big third down defensive stand right here for Benita Vista. Third down and five to go. We'll call it a long five here for the Hilltop Lancers. Split back formation once again for Sanchez. Sanchez will go ahead and look to pass. He's gonna get pressure, throws a screen pass to the far side, and here comes Bonita Vista on the tackle. Big hit there by their safety. And it looked like it was Daniel Romero coming out of the cornerback, coming out from the backfield. Yeah, Daniel Romero right there, just really reading and reacting to that play right there on that backside screen, a little throwback. Romero not fooled, stayed at home, made a nice open field tackle. Now Hilltop has to punt the ball to Caleb Sue, standing on his own 35 yard line. Caleb Sue back to return. That's gonna be a low line drive kick. Caleb Sue chases it. He'll take it from the 30, make it the 27 yard line. Dodges one tackler and gets taken down at the 31. So a return of about four yards will give it first and 10 to Bonita Vista. And you talk about momentum on your side right now. This is the time to do it here with 6.52 left in the, play, in, in the game. Oh, absolutely. That, momentum's, that momentum swung to Bonita Vista's side on that block punt. When they had that block punt right there and they converted that into points, and then you come out and you stop Hilltop, now you get the ball back. Decent field position right here on the 32-yard line. So Austin Kane will stay from the shotgun position. Two receivers to the right side, one on the near side. A talk of league is split out to the near side, and we have a whistle on the floor. I'm thinking basketball. I was going to say on the floor. It's on the field. <laughs> so is this an official timeout? Is this we're doing this over again? First down and 10 here. Oh, we'll do it all over again, first and 10. Referee timeout. Out of the gun, two receivers to the far side for Kane. Kane looks far side, has a receiver Miller open, and he'll go ahead and get taken down and gain of about three yards on that play. Yeah, that ball was floated out there. Miller went up to, to get it. Miller. That was floated. And I like what Miller did. He turned around, saw that it was floated, and he came back and, and came to the ball and brought it down. Good hit by Sergio Bueno right there. As they go ahead and they out of the gun once again, that's going to be right up the middle and stride. And there goes Sue to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Bonita Vista. Caleb Sue showing what he can do with speed. Going down the field, they put, bring Benita Vista within one point with six minutes, one seconds left to play in this game. We're a PAT away from a tie ball game. You talk about threading the needle, folks. King, let that go. I mean, just a rocket down the field. And Sue gets it in stride and takes it down the field for a touchdown. As we rate for the extra point. The crowd goes quiet. Kick is up, and it is going to be good. 28-28, 6-0-1 left here in the fourth quarter of play. We got our ball game here on your home for high school sports, playonsports.com. Playonsports.com is not only your destination for Friday night football action, but it's also the place for the most comprehensive coverage of high school playoff and championship events in all sports from across the country. Playonsports.com, 
high school sports lives here. And boy, it is alive and well here at Olympic High School. As, in, as in the, <laughs> you know, we have a great, great game going here tonight, Valentin. I got to tell you, Bonita Vista has come alive here in the second half of play, not just in the second half, in the fourth quarter of play. That kick will be a low line drive taken from about the 10 yard line. And here comes Vidrio. Vidrio on the near side. He comes up and gets hit and taken down. But he'll go ahead and put him at the 35 yard line. So now the Lancers, when everything was going right for the Lancers, all of a sudden, Bonita Vista takes that momentum away and takes it right over to their side, not only defensively, offensively. Well, right now, Vidrio brought that ball up to in good field position for the Lancers as they start first and 10 on their own 35-yard line as they break the huddle. Five minutes, 54 seconds left to play in this tie ball game. 554 left, Hilltop with the ball, first and 10. They're gonna give it to their back. And I believe that was Matarang who had the carry and he got knocked down immediately by the Bonita Vista defense. Yeah, Drake Matarang right there, he going nowhere by the loss of a half a yard. Ricky Alvarez right there on the stop. Well, you talk about adrenaline on that field right now, testosterone on that field right now. Those kids are pumped. Forget about the field, the, test, the, the, the atmosphere here at Bonita Vista, the adrenaline here on the stands is bringing this game even more alive. Backside That's going to be fresh, and the ball's loose. Bonita Vista recovers. Christian Sandoval comes on the quarterback blitz on the blind side. Hits Sanchez. Sanchez fumbles the ball. A huge turnover caused by Benita Vista. Great call on the backside corner blitz. Benita, Benita Vista takes possession on the Hilltop 22 yard line. Huge play. What a game. Benita Vista defense comes alive here in the fourth quarter of play, gaining the necessary stops, gaining some big turnovers. One big one here with 5.08 left and a tie ball game. Ball recovered at the Hilltop 22 yard line. Kane under center, I formation. He's gonna give a handoff to Miller. Miller over right guard, he gets a nice block and then he gets taken down for a gain of about seven yards. He sure did get a nice block by Angel Landavazo right there. Just held his block long enough to get around the corner for a pickup of about six yards. Twenty-eight, twenty-eight, all four thirty-eight left. The fans were so quiet all game long, and all of a sudden the fourth quarter came along, and the near side erupts. Hard count, flags, motion, and a five-yard penalty. In right there, using the hard count to draw the Lancers offside for the third time tonight. And when you're inside the red zone right there on defense, you do not want to give up any yards, let alone five. So first down conversion there on that five yard penalty ball now. At the 11 yard line of the Hilltop Lancers, I formation here, they're gonna give the handoff to Miller. Miller up the middle, breaks one tackle, then gets taken down inside the five yard line at about the three yard line. Oh, Delvin Miller right there just running with authority. Running up inside, getting some tough yards. Takes it down inside the five yard line to the four. Well, the Hilltop Lancers had 28 unanswered points through two quarters of play. And Bonita Vista answers back with 21 points to tie this ball game and now knocking on the Lancer door. I formation, they're gonna give the handoff to Miller. Miller gets hit and then gets taken down for a loss of one yard. 
Oh, he, Miller was just stuffed on that play by Adrian Rios. Defensive end for the Lancers right there, holding him to about a loss of one. Third down. So third down and about four. The first down marker at about the one yard line. So this will be interesting. If the Lancers can hold here and hold them to three points, that'll be a big victory for them on this drive. But then that clock is ticking right now as we are in on three minutes and counting left to play in the game. So if they hold right here, Hilltop better start thinking about taking a timeout. 2.50 left here in this fourth quarter of play, taking the snap, throwing to the near side, and Ataka Leak is going to be incomplete. We had a player coming onto the field they only in had, Miller. Yeah, they only had 10 on the field, Benita Vista, as Delvin Miller runs on onto the field right before the snap. Try so, to do a fade pattern to the corner of the end zone so for Atal Kalik. A little bit of confusion there on the offensive side for Bonita Vista. Now a timeout called by Bonita Vista. And you go for it here on fourth down, or do you kick a field goal for three points? You got to get points right here if you're Bonita Vista. Unfortunately, they had to take a timeout, which helps Hilltop. You know, e either A, if they don't convert here on fourth down. You're stopping, you're stopping the clock for your opponent. But I think that that's, they're going to think about this right now, Valentin, is do they want to, you know, attempt for the points right now or try to, you know, at least they still can get a first down taking it to about the one-yard line. Well, i got to tell you what, the way that Bonita Vista has been playing defensively, you got to believe that they're going to go for three points and try to have the Bonita Vista defense hold on defense. Oh, absolutely. you you, you got to get points right here. You're down this close, right? You're in the red zone. 2.42 left to play in the game. Get your three points right here and put the game into the hands of your defense. So we will go, and I should say we, but Bonita Vista will go for a field goal here. That's David Villasenor back to kick. Villasenor with a kick. It's up, and it is going to be no good. Villasenor misses it to the right side. So Hilltop will have two minutes and 42 seconds to go ahead and try to go back the other way as that ball will be spotted at the 20-yard line. They'll have it first and 10 from their own 20-yard line. And I think they have two minutes and 42 seconds and all their timeouts. And then again, in high school football, for every time you make a first down, the clock stops. So they've... Bonita Vista has held nicely on defense this entire fourth quarter against Hilltop. Okay, now here you have a young quarterback that Sanchez. you gotta put the hands of the game into. Under center, we'll go ahead and keep it on a keeper. He's up to the 25 and out of bounds at about the 30 yard line. Heads up play by the sophomore quarterback. Exactly, he did not play like a sophomore on that play. He knew he had to get out of bounds to stop the clock. There was nobody open downfield. So he did the smart thing right there and taking that ball, tucking it under his arm and running close to the first down stick but out of bounds, stopping the clock with two minutes, 33 seconds to go. Second down and one. Gain of nine yards on that quarterback keeper. Second down and one, ball spotted at the 29 yard line. Sanchez under center, two receivers to the near side, man in motion to the near side, that's gonna be Campbell. And Sanchez Fumble. fumbles the ball, and he recovers again. Fourth drop snap there by the sophomore quarterback. That is the fourth time that he has missed the snap. It's either the center and him are not on the same page or the center's going on a different snap count. Two oh nine, and the clock continues to tick. One receiver to either side here for Sanchez. As you'll go ahead and give a handoff to Downs. Downs trying to get forward, he gets the first down. He gets a first down and he stops the clock. 154. So let's see if Hilltop chooses to use a timeout as they blow it in play. 
The running game was working very nicely for the Hilltop Lancers, and now we got a timeout called. Timeout, Bonita Vista. Bonita Vista. They're saying no timeout called. Saying no timeout. So the clock is not running here with 1.54 left to play. The referee blew it in play, said that Bonita Vista called a timeout. Bonita Vista was saying that they, had, they, were, they weren't calling a timeout. Now the referee talking to the side judge saying, what did you hear? Now they're talking to Coach Raby. So Coach Raby was saying, I, I didn't call a timeout. Nobody here called a timeout. I think the side judge might have saw a certain hand motion or a sudden hand movement and called a timeout. And now they wind the clock. So they wind the clock, 150. On the clock and ticking. Two receivers to the near side for the Lancers. Sanchez looking to throw. He's going to get pressure. He's got to roll out. He gets taken back for a sack. Back inside the 20-yard line. That is a huge loss. They're going to give him forward progress where he initially got hit at the 20. But still, it's going to bring down a long, long second down situation here for the Lancers. Now it looks like Lancers, no, excuse me, the Barons take a timeout to conserve some time on the clock because now that you have Hilltop pinned back in their territory, you want to conserve time so they can punt the ball and you get the ball back with some time left to take a shot in the end zone, possibly get a long field goal, and at least have a shot of winning this game and not having a tie. Especially when you got a second and 22 left. 22 yards to get a first down. If you can hold them on two downs here, short of the 22 yard, uh, or short, I should say short of the 42 yard line, you will be able to get this ball back with a little bit of time on the clock to be able to try to get a big play downfield and back the other way for a score. Now I'm not sure if Benita Vista just used their last time out or they have one more. You want to think that they're going to throw the ball, but you know what? We haven't really seen the toss sweep play that we ran in that first half of play that was working so well with Campbell to one side and Matarang to the other. So plenty of possibilities here for the Hilltop Lancers. The Bonita Vista defense has really pressured Sanchez and hasn't allowed him enough time to look downfield. Sanchez under center. Sanchez not even going out of the gun. Man in motion to the near side, Campbell. And he's going to get pressured. Screen pass to the outside. Ball is intercepted. No, nearly intercepted there by Bonita Vista. Well, they tried a, back, a backside uh, throwback screen. And again on the play for Bonita Vista, Daniel Romero right there diving for the interception, but the ball hitting the ground. So Bing's up uh, third and long, third and 22 for Hilltop at their own 20 yard line. They got to cross the 42 yard line to keep this drive alive right here, Valentin. So third down and long. Third down and 22 here for the Lancers. Two receivers to the far side for Sanchez. One man in motion, that's gonna be Campbell. Sanchez looking to throw, getting pressured, throws downfield, has an open receiver. That ball is bobbled and caught and then taken down to the 30 yard line. Unbelievable catch there by the Lancers. Now Sergio Vitro right there on that play right there. And it's a juggling act. And we had the concentration to keep his eye on the ball and come down with a huge third down conversion, taking that ball across midfield into Benita Vista territory on the 30 yard line he, with one minute 16 to play. He juggled that ball for about 10 yards before he actually came away with the ball. That ball was bobbled in the air for about 10 yards, folks, and then he came down with it and put it down as he got taken down at about the 31-yard line. The ball was complete. He maintained possession throughout the entire way. He caught it, 
was tackled. So this puts a whole new spin on things right now if you're a Hilltop, is that now you're getting close into field goal range. You probably want to go at least another 15 yards upfield to be able to have a shot here. One nineteen left as they move the chains. Hilltop, one receiver to either side for Sanchez. That screen pass comes in and it gets deflected, incomplete. Nice job there by Michael Erickson. Yeah, Erickson right there bats the ball away. The 5'9 quarterback going up against a 6'3 defensive lineman. And that ball batted down. Stops the clock with 1.14 left to play in the game. This game has been something else. It's a good one. 28-28, all tied up, 114 left, and the Lancers in Bonita Vista territory. Ball spotted at the 32-yard line, second down and 10. Man in motion to the left side, that's going to be Vidrio. He goes into the slot. Sanchez under center, here comes a flag delay a game. So we'll back him up five yards. Well, right there, you just had too much movement going on in that formation. He had too much going on right there. Vidrio almost seemed like he was on the wrong side of the field, and he's like, oh, I need him to be on the left side in the slot. So it took a while for him to move and then be able to set somebody in motion. Well, they should have kept him on the right side of the field right there because he had single coverage with no safety on that side. So we'll set it up again. 114 left here in the game. 28-28 all, man in motion, Campbell to the slot. Sanchez nearly trips, has to go on his own. He gets taken down, has to hold on to the ball. He does, he gets a gain of about three yards. It'll bring a third down and long here for the Lancers. Well, he didn't make the first down and the clock is ticking inside of a minute. So I don't see any sense of urgency by Hilltop at all trying to get a playoff here. It goes to the sideline to get the play. Well, Sanchez, 20 seconds have taken, came off the clock as Sanchez comes from the sideline with the play. Two receivers to the near side, two to the far side, one man in motion. That's going to be, and they're going to give it on the pitch to Campbell. Campbell trying to cut the corner, nothing there, and he gets taken down for a loss. With 28 seconds left and ticking, and now a timeout called by Bonita Vista. Now, I thought that that right there was going to be a halfback pass. That would have been an opportune time right there to call that. Twenty six point four, depending on, on, on what they feel is the situation, Bob, playoff wise, where are they going to go uh, to college rules overtime? We got to find that out. That might have changed this year. So we will let you know as soon as uh, regulation time comes to an end. Well, now if you're Hilltop right here, 26 seconds left to play in the game. You got to get the ball down. Oh, to about the 21, 22 yard line to get a first down, to stop the clock, and to keep your drive alive. So it's not necessarily you have to go for it all, but you need a first down right here to get yourself into position. You start the clock, you spike the ball to, to stop the clock, and then you can have an opportunity to take a couple shots in the end zone or kick a field goal to win it. Well, the Hilltop Lancers with 26.4 left, they are looking for their first win of the season. Fourth down and about 15 to go. Sanchez taking the snap, gets pressured, ball is batted down, and intercepted by Bonita Vista! Yeah. 
Intercepted at the 47 yard line of the Lancers, uh, excuse me, not the Lancers, of the Barons. And with 21.6 six seconds left, anything can happen here, Bob. Well, Christian Sandoval right there just played the, uh, the deflection off the batted pass. And so now that stops the clock right here. So Benita Vista takes uh, the ball over on, after that interception close to midfield on the 48 yard line with 21.6 seconds left to play in the game. And look, do you have split out to the far to the, to the right? A tall colleague and Delvin. Delvin, Delvin Miller, Miller, a tall colleague. That may be a mismatch on the far side. Kane, out of the gun, looking to throw, looking deep, looking for a receiver. Up for grabs, incomplete. Great coverage there by the Hilltop Lancers. That was excellent coverage right there. Defensive back for Hilltop. And covering on that play was Sergio Bueno. He just laid out for that ball. I'm telling you, both teams right here in this second half, and especially here in the fourth quarter, they're leaving it out in the field, Valentin. And this is how high school football should be played. You play four quarters. You play to the last second. And that's what these young men are doing tonight. Second down and 10 to go. 15.7 seconds left in regulation time. Kane out of the gun. Two receivers to the far side. One on the near side taking the snap. Looking to throw. Has some time. Throwing downfield. Letting it go. Up for grabs. And knocked down. Batted down there by the Hilltop Lancers. Nice job on the coverage again by the secondary. Well, that's usually your tight end right there, James, James Lett. And they put the tall guy in there. He's 6'2". And also plays a little bit of defensive back. And they had him in defensive back position on that play right there. 28-28 all tied up with 9.1 seconds left. So in the San Diego section, I'm not sure. I'm not too sure about this. But you can play for a win for seeding but the game is going to show us a tie on your record. So two receivers to the far side, looking to throw again, looking downfield, letting it go, up for grab, Miller, and the ball is going to be intercepted by the Lancers. And back the other way we go, and he'll be taken down at about the 40-yard line, and that's going to bring the game to an end. 28-28 tie. And we're going to wait to see what they do here. Are we going to go ahead and leave it as a tie, or are we going to play for a win? Well, the referees are not leaving the field, so they are meeting at midfield right now. They're going to call the head coaches in, and they're going to ask them, do you guys want to play for a win? Well, again, this is a non-league game. So right now, the, the records of of both teams respectively, Benita Vista at two and two and Hilltop at 0 and four. So you need to consider on how this, if you do choose to go to overtime, on how this is going to uh, be an advantage to you in the seating if you go to the playoffs. Well folks, we don't have a winner yet. But I think we were all winners on this one. Well, I'm telling you, this is, a, this is a great high school football game. Again, both teams just leaving it out on the field. Very impressed with Hilltop. You know, for a team searching for their first win tonight, I mean, you know, talk about a moral victory right now. I mean, that was just a great performance, uh, you know, by the Hilltop Lancers. And then again, credit Bonita Vista, you know, coming out kind of shell-shocked the first half coming out here and scoring 21 unanswered points in the second half and just playing with a sense of urgency coming back to tie this ball game and the way that this thing finished you know I tip my hats off to both teams both schools both coaching staffs for just getting their their teams prepared to play very competitive Friday night football here well, we were treated to a very good game here tonight, folks. Bonita Vista was trailing 28-21 in the third quarter of play, and it almost seemed like Hilltop didn't miss a beat there coming out of the, the, the halftime as they got the ball back, went back in and scored right away. 
took five minutes off the clock, moved the ball downfield very methodically, got it into the end zone, 28, 28, 28, 7. And Bonita Vista still in, still in disarray and, and on the offensive side. And then with 24 seconds left in that third quarter of play, they come back on that deep, deep pass, deep bomb, get it into the end zone for a touchdown right before the third quarter ends. And the fourth quarter was all Bonita Vista. Yeah. I mean, they dominated the fourth quarter of play. So we are going to go ahead and wait to see. And it looks like we might be having a little overtime period here as they're going to go ahead and talk to the kids as to what they're going to do. So it looks like we are going to have a little overtime period here. From Olympian High School. The captain's being sent out to midfield to go ahead and do the coin toss and See who's going to defend where, which way they're going to go. And the fans, some of the fans started, started walking out, and now everybody's coming back in. So the captains to meet at midfield. Okay, so I got an explanation that in the San Diego section, there are no more ties for high school football. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna go similar to the college format. Well, they're going to do a, a coin toss as they're doing right now in the center of the field. And the team that'll win that toss will choose to go either on offense or defense. And the other team will choose what goal line they uh, choose to defend. Start at the 25 yard line. And if the first team scores, either with a field goal or a touchdown, the opposing team will get their opportunity to either match or beat that score. So, Valentin, we have more football. We have more football here. <laughs> you couldn't ask for anything better than this. So what seemed to be a game that Hilltop was going to dominate up until 24 seconds in the third quarter of play, turns out to be a tie in regulation. And now we are going into overtime with Bonita Vista coming back from a 21 point deficit and tying it up with two score, two big scores in the fourth quarter of play. And I gotta tell you what, that, re that highlight reel is gonna be something to watch later on today, if not tomorrow. Oh, absolutely. You'll be able to, to catch that right here on playonsports.com. And relive this thing, because... Uh, I'm going to relive it I, a couple I'm, times tomorrow. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> this is definitely one you want to see again and again. So ball will be spotted at the 25-yard line. An opportunity to be able to get two first down conversions. With one receiver to either side, Sanchez under center, gives the ball off to Downs, Downs over left guard, and he gets a gain of five and then keeps his legs moving forward and gets another three, so he gained of eight yards on that carry. Again, it's not so much a sudden death, you know, they still can get a first down, or if they don't get a first down, then you have the opportunity to kick a field goal. But in these situations, you want to come up with a touchdown. Or points on the board. Yep. One receiver to either side for Sanchez. Sanchez will go in and take the snap, but we have a flag on the field. Oh, you're going to have illegal motion against the offense right there on Hilltop. That was right tackle on the play. Jonathan Molina moving before the snap. So second down now, second down and to move them back five yards, second down and about seven to go. One receiver to either side for Sanchez, two men in the backfield, they're gonna go ahead and fake the handoff, play action fake. He's gonna be pressured, needs to get away, goes forward and gets a gain of maybe, no actually make it a loss of yards on that one. 
Yeah, that looks like that's going to come uh, behind the original line of scrimmage. So that was a loss of about four yards on that one. So they're going to put them back actually at the original line of scrimmage. And it'll be a third down and ten. A big pile over there. You couldn't really tell where the ball was. So a big third down situation here for Bonita Vista. And a big third down situation here as well for the Lancers. They need to get a first down. You want to come away with points. You want to get the best position possible to kick a field goal, get into the end zone. One receiver to either side. Sanchez takes it, throws downfield, has a receiver. Ball is caught in the middle of the field and then taken down. Past the first down marker and more at the five. What a catch by the tight end. Well, that was just a nice little seam route by the tight end. James Lett on that play. Again, Lett goes 6-2. Won the height advantage of, over the defense there, and that was huge. And there's a flag on the field as well. So let's see if that's against Benita Vista. That's going to be tacked on after the play. And it's a face mask. Face mask. It's a face mask against Benita Vista. That's going to... Rock, walk it half, half the distance, the distance. To the goal and it's going to put it at the two and a half yard line. So what a play on third down and ten. Right down the middle of the field, the tight end went over the receiver and took it away from him to get the first down and more. Two men in the backfield, they give it to their running back. He's going to get into the end zone and it's going to be a touchdown. Touchdown, Lancers. Touchdown. And that carry was Campbell. Or Downs. Dustin Downs right there. That was our big guy, Downs. Using the fullback to pound right there in that A-gap. Just want to remind everybody watching this, High school football overtime. There's no time. The time is kept on the field. And that kick is up. Nearly blocked. Nearly blocked, and it's good. 35-28. The Hilltop Lancers lead this one here in overtime on your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. Well, after this exciting contest in overtime, stay tuned for the playonsports.com postgame show where we'll select our player of the game as well as wrap up all the action from this ball game. That's coming up following the game on your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. So there was a flag on the field as well. It was encroachment on Benita Vista. I'm sure that was declined and the Field goal was good. The extra point was good, I should say. 35-28. The Hilltop Lancers score on their first possession of overtime as they started that with... They started that at the 25-yard line. So they are talking to the coach on the sideline. Coach Roloff. So that was, if, if they called encroachment, was that, pre, was that a pre-snap call? And I'm just wondering if that's what they're discussing that over there. Encroachment. Because if it's encroachment, if it's pre-snap, then they'll have to kick there, it over there's again. There's no play. Exactly, they'll have to kick it over again. And it looks like that's what they're going to do. Is they're gonna bring that Again, move the ball half the distance to the goal. This is interesting, because here you go, you, you can go over two-point conversion now. Yeah, you could go two-point conversion. It shortens down the uh, ability for you to be able to move the ball and, into the end zone. Exactly, it just makes it that much tougher for your opponent to match your score. But Hilltop will elect to kick a field goal. So we'll do the extra point all over again. As the hold is down, the kick is up, and it is going to be good. Great job there by their kicker, Angel Galvan. 
So 35-28. Yeah, the the uh, fans over here on the Benita Vista side want the uh, scoreboard change. Score, scoreboard change as it reads 38-28, but that was just a point after, not a field goal. So the score is 35-28. So we'll go ahead and switch fields, or they'll, they won't switch. Yeah, they'll switch fields, I guess you can say. Now Bonita Vista with the ball at the 25-yard line. They'll be going from left to right as well. So Bonita Vista, two receivers to the near side. Kane under center. They're going to go ahead and fake the handoff. Throwing to the near side. Has Sue. Sue to the 10. And knocked out of bounds. They're going to actually knock him out of bounds at about the 11-yard line. And Sue got thrown out of bounds quite hard, but he shook that off and running back to the huddle. I like that call right there. You have a tall Kalik on the outside and Sue in the slot. Kalik runs a streak down the field and Sue breaks off his pattern to the outside for an out route. Now this is where it gets a little tough though when you have another first down possibility, but the first down marker now is gonna be spotted at the one yard line. So from this point on, you might as consider this first and goal. Kane will go ahead and give the handoff to Miller. Miller up the middle. He gets some good yardage on that carry as he gets five yards. So second down and five. Moves the ball up to the seven-yard line. So the first down marker spotted at the one-yard line. So in order for them to get another first down, another set of downs, they have to get that ball just inside the one. And they're going to have Miller and Lon DeVazo in the backfield. Two receivers to the near side. The pitch goes to Miller to the left. He's trying to cut the corner. He gets one block. There's a flag on the field. And he got close yeah, to the one-yard marker. And I think this is coming back for holding against Benita Vista. So the flag on the field on the far side right before he turned the corner, right before he got his block. This, this has to be against Benita Vista. So we'll wait for the official call. It's gonna be holding against Benita Vista. That's going to bring it back 10 yards from the spot of the foul. And it's going to make a second down and long situation here for the Bonita Vista Barons. So second down and about 14 to go here for the Barons. So second down and 14, make it second down and 15. Kane under center. Looking to pass, getting pressure, back side. That ball is going to be incomplete as his arm was going forward. His arm was going forward. That ball is incomplete. Cornerback blitz there by the Lancers. from the weak side and he didn't see it. No, right on his blind side right there and good thing he got the ball off or else that would have been a sack for even a longer third down attempt. But huge third down play right here for Bonita Vista. Well regardless, you gotta go for it on four down. You got, yeah, this is four down territory. So this it's is four down territory here. There's there is no there's no I, we gotta kick a field goal. Yeah, they, you gotta you gotta match it, you gotta match the, the touchdown. Two receivers to the near side for Kane. Kane has time, throws into the answer for Kalik. Ball is incomplete. Oh, so good coverage there by the Lancers. Yeah, tall Kalik right there, just double covered on that play. A lot of incidental contact right there, but. And now a timeout no called made. by Bonita Vista. So fourth down. 
and 15. If they want to get a new set of downs, they got to go to the one. Interesting play call here. I mean, if you're the coach here, what, what kind of play do you call? With fourth with four down and 15, I think you got to take a, a shot into the end zone. Well, you, you, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you get as close to the end zone as you can to the one yard line, but you, you, you have to take a shot. And what you need, you need your, you need your height receivers in there. You need your big tight end in there. And you got to just try to uh, outmatch your secondary with, with your height and your hands. Well, you got Gabe Bell. He's 6'4", 215 pounds, a big target. He's had a big, couple big catches here tonight. You try to isolate him by himself and, and use Atal Kalik as maybe a decoy. Right now, Atal Kalik is the one that's attracting all the attention. And also some type of a pattern. If you have somebody like uh, Caleb Sue in the slot or something like that, you can run some type of a, of a pick. You know, Delvin Miller. You know, you have Delvin Miller split wide to the right, and you have Sue in the slot, and you have Kalik out split wide to the left. So you have your playmakers in there. Let's see what they do. Game on the line. Kane taking the snap, looking downfield, looking into the end zone, throwing up for grabs. Ball is going to be incomplete. And Hilltop is going to win this one. Hilltop pulls out the win as they win in overtime, 35-28. What a game, folks. What a game. And ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to stay tuned to our PlayOnSports.com for post-game coverage. We'll wrap up all the action in our post-game show, and we'll have an interview with our player of the game. That's coming up in just a few moments. Once again, the Hilltop Lancers have defeated the Bonita Vista Barons by a score of 35-28 to on Friday Night Football on PlayOnSports.com, your destination for high school sports. We can get a player up here. Ah, oh, that's good stuff. Alright, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard yeah. graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? We start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP.
Welcome back to PlayOnSports.com's coverage of Friday Night Football here on PlayOnSports.com. I'm joined by our player of the game, Dustin Downs from the Hilltop Lancers. Big win for you guys today, man. You guys were looking for the first win of the, of the season. It couldn't get any better than this, right? No, we won in overtime. We needed to win to get the momentum to go in the league. Now, talk about the win. Uh, how, how big is this win, coming on the road, getting a big win, first win of the season right before going into league? Oh. What kind of momentum does this build for, the, for going on in the, for the rest of the season? We needed all the momentum we could. I mean, in the second half, we lost all momentum, and we had to fight back in overtime, and we did. We had some penalties that killed us on some drives. Now, talk about that first half of play. You guys did really well on the ground. You had the ground game going. You guys used the left side of the field. Then you guys started going back to the right side of the field. Was there something that you guys were seeing that you guys were able to exploit? Uh, they started stacking our strong side, so we started going weak side. But then they started um, hitting us from the back side on blitzes, so we just had to switch it up. Now, how good was that? Let's go ahead and go back to that first half of play. You ran that draw, that uh, delay play where they gave you the ball, and somehow the two, the two uh, defenders went right by you, and you went for about 30 yards, man. Talk about that play right there. I, I, was that designed to do that? Or? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's designed to do that. They, they didn't even know. They just ran right past me, and then we got there. It was a flag, but still, the momentum we got from there still, uh, went through the, second, the first half. Now, you guys faced some adversary there in the fourth quarter of play. They came back big time. They, they scored right before the third quarter ended, and they came back with two big scores in the fourth quarter of play. What does Coach say to you on the sideline for you guys to go ahead and get composed and come back and be able to hold them off on defense and then go into overtime? Uh, we just needed to win. He said we needed to win and to get the momentum to go into league and everything because we haven't won a game. We've lost some games that were pretty close. Well, so there you go, folks. Our player of the game, Dustin Downs, with a winning touchdown there for the uh, the, the Hilltop Lancers here on your post-game show on PlayOnSports.com, your home for high school sports. We can get a player up here. Ah, oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard right. graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. Welcome back to our Play on Sports post game show. Live here from Chula Vista, California, Bob. A great game on our hands. Overtime game. We've been waiting for a good one all season long. We finally got one. Hilltop comes out all big here, 35 28 over the Bonita Vista Barons. Talk about the game, man. I mean, what, what can you say? Well, I'm just really, really proud of both teams, the way they played their hearts out tonight. And credit Hilltop. You know, you come in winless, looking for your first win. Not only do you make a showing, but you, you, you've you overcome some adversity and some setbacks. You come out in the first half and basically dominate, but then in the second half, you give up 21 unanswered points. They come, if Benita Vista comes back and ties the game, but then you just have the resiliency to play through overtime, and when it counts, you take it in the end zone to win the game. Exciting high school football game tonight. You know, we talked to Delson Downs just, just now, and he said, you know, coach told us in that fourth quarter of play, we need a hold because we need this momentum to go into league play. Hilltop play, played a heck of a game today. That Metro, that Metro League South, South League needs to watch out for these Hilltop Lancers. Oh, absolutely. They're going to be in uh, very competitive this year along with Southwest and Mar Vista. And so uh, great job to Hilltop tonight. It's really something for this program to build on. Now let's go ahead and, and, and break down that second half of play. Uh, we look at Hilltop, the Hilltop Lancers. They came, they came out pretty strong in that third quarter of play, but then they started to... Either it was fatigue on the defensive side or something, but something started happening that late third quarter into the fourth quarter. They, they kind of just didn't seem like the same team that they had, putting pressure on, on, on Kane in that, in that first and second and third quarter of play. They, they weren't putting as much pressure on him, which led him you know look downfield and hit his receivers downfield. What do you think that is? Do you think that was because of fatigue, or do you think that was just basically the breakdown of the defense? No, I just say it is a couple of things. Number one, not so much as what Hilltop didn't do, it's what Bonita Vista did did do. Benita Vista took uh, 
advantage of some opportunities or with a big play to a tall colleague, and then they came right back with that huge block punt, got the ball in midfield, and then scored again. So right there, that was the momentum shift in the game. And right there, Hilltop goes, wow, we were up 28 to 7. Now we're in a ball game. But then credit Hilltop for staying resilient right there and playing a full four quarters and more and coming out with a victory tonight. Well, folks, that's going to wrap it up here from Chula Vista, California, as the Hilltop Lancers defeat the Bonita Vista Barons by a score of 35 to 28 here on your home for high school sports, PlayOnSports.com. For all of us here at PlayOnSports.com, for our producer, our videographer, and my partner here, Bob Osuna, I'm Valentin Escanola saying good night, and we hope you'll join us next Friday night on our destination for high school sports, Friday Night Football, here on PlayOnSports.com. Good night, everybody. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort.